Seven forty is my flight tonight. Okay. We ready to go? Where you headed got, after this? Yeah. Back home. I got some Starbucks. No, I'm in mean, like it. after after we do this. Oh, go, I go, grab, go grab it. Hey, go, one second. Yes. No, go ahead. Do that. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. I, I told you our sponsor paid for everything. What? Give us money last night? I didn't believe in nothing you okay. got to say to me. Give me my, give my hey, show notes. Get it together. Yeah, let me get my show notes. Let me hey, get my show notes. So, hey, I'll, well, I got one. Can I start? Yeah, go ahead. Start, I got some. <laughs> <too. laughs> well, well, so, Naeem's Nye, a comedian. Mm -hmm. I was eating the banana Laffy Taffy on the way here, so I'm going to start off with a joke. Pause. I'm not gonna pause that. So Banana saying, Laffy Taffy. He was eating it like this. No, what on earth? <laughs> <laughs> so he just did like just so much with that. So what kind of grade always improves? Uh. An upgrade. I was, hey. about, I was oh, about to upgrade. say that. An upgrade. <laughs> that was real bad though. Cordway podcast. F all that. Hey, I want to start the show off by apologizing <laughs> to to. Uh, I'll let's go, Naeem. and everybody else. I ain't apologizing to you. And to Terrence Crawford. Hey, didn't expect bump that. that. Yeah, and why you I want to start this show off by apologizing. Hey, nah, that, that was a classic ass whooping. That yeah. was that, you beat a great, an all time great welterweight, and you made it look easy, bro. You're not last, talking to him right now. You know that. Last, no, no, I you're just not want, talking to him hey, right now. Hey, hey right if, now. if I can be a man and you're pick, talking to her sister, I, his sister. If I can be a man and pick the other side in public, I can be a man. But I don't think apologize. you need to apologize though. How like you just pick the other guy. What did you apologize? Damn. How much did you lose? Why would I say that? On, you know, you know, the people be watching. Nah, it's how much, if you won some money, then nah, you might not want to share that. You can say how nah, much you cause, lost. Because then you know, fans. Yeah, I'm just saying my say my pockets. I lost more than a dollar. You lost a hundred to me. <laughs> nigga, you a snitch. <laughs> when y'all the same birthday, y'all snitches. Uh, but yeah, I, I lost. Dan was I lost, mad I lost, that he was gonna have to pay you yesterday. By the way, at yeah. the house. Yeah, I was definitely mad. I said yeah. I gotta pay. A he said I, Bruce he, Wayne. He said apologize to Porter. I ain't no millionaire, by the way. He aunt said, he said, you know what? Every time I am I'm doing down, well, man. Really you doing well with me. Man, he's staying in everybody's pockets. I know. He's going to talk about he don't want to talk about money. Pockets. And then he's going to call and me and a what millionaire. Did, what, did, what did Batman I'm say? Well. I live in California. I might be a millionaire if I live here. I live in L.A., bro. Welcome to the Portal okay. Podcast, y'all. Um, unbelievable night of boxing. Uh, unbelievable main event. Because let's be honest. The boxing last night was... I'll add an asterisk. A week of boxing. I assume we'll touch on that. Carry I, on. And as I told you, he would want to touch on that, which you can, because I don't know nothing else. That I have nothing else to talk about. Except. Nothing else happened in boxing. <laughs> that's unbelievable. No, we, we, no, no, no. We will give Sinisa Estrada her respect. That's um, I, what Sinisa Estrada. Hey, what, you talking in a way? I'm talking about in a way. Oh, oh we gotta talk about that. I thought yeah. we already did. No, well, you know, what well, Sinisa fought too. Of course. We oh, oh we talking, didn't. We did. Uh, we yeah, did, see? but we didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's only one thing happening in boxing this week. <laughs> no, no, we should talk about anyway too. Yeah, hundred guys. Talk about the best fighter on the planet. No, about. he's not. Did you he's get not. up for that? Did you wake up for that? Uh, I set my alarm and I fell asleep. I, I woke up and fell right back to sleep. Hey, Sean, get to him. Get to him. Before yeah. get left behind. Go All right, get, yeah. Uh, Naeem Lynn, everybody. Uh, Carson A. Merck and Ant with two T's up in the building with me, Showtime Sean Porter. Happy to be here with y'all, man. We got a great show for y'all, and we just going to kick it and, of course, get all the way into this main event that happened last night. Adrian Wells, good afternoon, everyone. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing today? I am blessed and highly flavored. 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 Yeah, yes. stay with that. That's cool. Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> you, you fuck up. I'm going to fuck up all the way. I'm great. I'm not, I'm not a smiling person. I smiled my ass off last night for about three hours. And yeah. I'm still, I'm still smiling. Hey, give me some love on that yeah. because yeah. certain, certain, that was... Epic. Yeah, man. That uh, was that was a beautiful thing to watch. He said, big fan. Of, oh, you didn't care to. <laughs> big fan of Carson? Big fan nah, of y'all. Legendary Jesus performance Christ. last night. I'm eating crow today. Arrow uh, will bounce back. I do agree uh, from this. And the new undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Terrence 
Aquaman Crawford. Go to that one. Go to for you. Why Aquaman? Because he got the big fish. Yeah. Hey, you seen him come out with the fish net? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got net on the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen him come out with Eminem? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey why, do? don't, why don't white crime? What he I, he got I up do? and went to the bathroom. Post fight, he Second had a shirt night, on. I was like, nah, I'm you don't like Eminem? Nah. You don't like white people. His shirt. <laughs> <laughs> his shirt blessed post- and white last week. Hey, listen. You can't his, say that. <laughs> carry on. White shirt, people can't say they blessed. Post fight, mm-hmm. his shirt said, even big fish get caught. Yeah. That was clean. Mm-hmm. Okay, go back up to Henry Washington. Uh, we got Joseph, super mix. Rodriguez. Sean, it's great, it's, it's great meeting you Friday. Thanks for the autograph. Uh, for my brother, you the man. I do remember that. Good to, good to meet you over the weekend, too, sir. But my goodness, I did not expect it to play out like that last night. Go up to the top. Man, I don't know. That one gone. You find it? Yeah, you I screenshot got it. it? No, but I got it. It's still there. <laughs> what is it? Henry Washington, Carson, and Aunt Lucy. I got Luther over here. <laughs> what do you say? Carson and Aunt Lucy, uh-huh. you have some explaining to do. Overreaching and punching between his shots was Spence's downfall. Okay. Okay, okay. Which we, we did mention. Uh, Luther Robinson. We, we did. Hey, by the way, I, re- I appreciate all the uh, Super Chats. Y'all can stop now because we got some. No, no, no. Keep going. Yeah, keep, that is the stupidest <laughs> thing the he thing ever he said. said. It's stupid, and, it's stupid and wealthy and, and I just... And just keep bringing them on. We hey, just lazy. appreciate y'all, but I got a lot to no, say. No, you don't. You ain't got time for your saying. Keep if y'all going. go broke, it's on him. Uh, uh, Luther Robinson, oh, respect man. to Scrancho and Naeem. You can tell they watch boxing and are true fans. Scrancho was almost spot on with his exception about Earl. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he been hitting me up. All right. So get that. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrancho. Yeah. My apologies. I didn't get you in here, Scrunch. As you oh, can shit. see, we, we, we pressed for space today. Uh, the That's Zapata space. Brand bo- Podcast. My man, he got it up, huh? 100 yeah, for me. Yeah, got the $100. Looking like a fool on your show. <laughs> 100 for me looking like a fool on your show. Sean, you missed somebody. Uh, Adrian Wells? Uh, no, I got that one already. Man, help me. You guys are just... Uh, the real deal? The this Crawford, is why I said stop. Is, is Crawford's the greatest welterweight of all time? No. That's hard. That's what it is. Hey, last I night mean, he would have walked great for his for his ass, I feel. He's just great for his era. What you think? Yeah. Last night, Floyd, that's 50-50 fight. I mean, I want to get into all of that. Okay, you know what I mean? okay. Talk about right, it right this right, second. No, 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 no. no, no yeah. Shout outs going and all that. Uh, Orange, not an Earl fan, but I can't believe what I saw. Yeah, buddy. All right. We hit them all. We hit them all. Hey, man, so I got a lot of DMs. Yeah, no in. more. I even talked spanked about this. You know, Naeem, you know, I first start watching. Hold Earl. on. Stop. No, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> At first, I'm like, I'm hey, serious. Y'all can stop. Now, Naeem, the only one on the show that don't really talk to people. I would have turned off. And then people the like, how the bro. fuck did y'all get Naeem I would, I, to be on y'all show and be laughing? Naeem don't even <laughs> F nobody. No, and then Spank said, y'all only F with us because you, you like boxing. I'm like, dang, I thought Naeem was actually our friend. No, I like y'all. I like y'all for real. <laughs> but I talk, I talk on our show. I talk on them when I'm supposed to be talking. Yeah, they act like you don't like people. I, I mean, I don't. Okay. You, you could tell on your show, it seems like you're like, hey, Let's get some order to this, and everybody else is just like, "Man, we this is we here. Welcome to my, hey, <laughs> we're, we're here I'm, today. Welcome I'm to my serious home. about it. I take it seriously. You know that that day that you came on, they were a little drunk. It was a little different, but typically in studio, it's more order than that. Uh huh. But um, I don't I don't like when you know we start asking questions. Yeah. And then people want to interrupt. Like, yo, let's get the let's get the answer yeah. to the question. Let's you know conduct a good interview. Very quick, AP. Uh, Boots or Thurman can beat Spence due to athleticism. Right, Spence sure. is mentally wow. broken now. He'll never be. He'll, I'm, I have to read this. He'll yeah. never be this. He's mentally broken now. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I think he's mentally broken about that moment, but he'll get past that. Uh, it says uh, he'll never be the same. I disagree with that. I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I 50-50 agree with that. Yes, every time you get in the ring, you don't leave the same, but I think he'll recover from this. I don't. I could be wrong with that one. I could be wrong with he's think? never he's never taken a beaten period. Yeah. So, you know, I just feel like it's it's crazy. I saw um the interview of people that were there last night, like former boxers and Tommy Hearns, you know, who's an all time great. Yeah. His faculties aren't there. No. And I don't want to see that was one of them type of beatings. I don't I, I don't want to see that happen to anybody in this era, man. So mm-hmm. That fight last night, I think he has a lot to consider mm-hmm. moving forward. Period. I wanted the I wanted the title to come in. Yeah, and, and, I, and I tweeted that 
didn't I tweet? Yeah. When? That yeah. Uh, two or three rounds before. Was before, before we was, we yeah. was in the house yelling. Yeah. Throw well, a towel in. Yeah. He took his foot off the gas after the, the third knockdown. He kind of was like, I don't know if he was just fighting smart or he just wanted to, he was enjoying himself in there, just yeah. being in the moment. Yeah. Because he was catching everything. I yeah. mean, it was like. It was like, remember when the Patriots had the playbook a few years back? Yeah. <laughs> it was like he had the playbook. He just knew everything that was coming, And that's bro. why I don't want to do these super chats because I want to uh, get into and, and it. The, oh, you got to finish that super chat. He's uh. mentally broken now. He'll never be the same. And you was doing all that Spence cheerleading. Yep. I'm a man of my word. I, I'll pick Spence. You got to pick somebody. I'm Maybe not a person. Not. I've never been a follower. I so never what? do as anyone else do. I do my own thing. And I do my own pick. thing, which is why I don't pick. I'll tell y'all how it happened, why it happened, and, and what's going to happen moving forward. That's mm -hmm. what I do. Man, I know you don't want to hear this shit, but this make you look so much better. It do. No, 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 no. No, no I'm going to tell you what it does. <laughs> okay? I don't tell you because you know, I'm a real friend. If I would have gave everything I got and prepared for that fucking fight. I did. I know. If we, if you want to touch on that, we can touch. On that. Uh, well, yeah, we can touch on that. If you want. I feel yeah. like you know, you you see that. I feel like Bud has gotten better in every fight, and his you know, two fights go with you, and he was at. He hits a lot of them, and they gone too. I'm not. I, I got him. I already told uh, him. No, I so got him. I don't okay. give a damn. If this man, is frustrating to me. <laughs> I, got it. I got it. And I'm not a reader. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do nah, that. No, I'm quick. just saying. It was just. I, I just feel like it, it makes you look it makes you look that much better. And I mean, even with the, I still feel like you could have won that fight. It was a split yeah. decision. Yeah. Against against Spence. And let's do this. Let's hit uh, NUA okay. real quick. I mean, like I really thought that that was last week. Yeah. Based on everything we have been doing this week. You yeah. know? Can we just clean these, knock them out real quick? Go. Marcus one on one. Let's be real. Spence had to be drained. Sean could have beat. Here we go. Beat him off the couch. All right, this here we go. Uh, King Fredham, uh, I think Boots then Charlo for Bud. Shout out to Spence, but that was levels. Bud hit a different level. No rematch should happen. Fight wasn't close. Mm. I don't want to hear those excuses about him being drained. This was not a catch weight fight. He fought at his at his weight, yep. where he was the champ at. Where he has three belts at. Now, if you come in and you weren't prepared and you didn't, you know, that's your fault. That's your fault. He said that they, they was yeah. training in the hundred and twenty degree gym. Yeah. That way should have been off you. Like, that drange. Look, he looked tired. He looked like he didn't get no sleep the night before. He was dreaming about that ass whooping he was about to receive. And he, and, he, and dreams come true. My yeah. man, did he already got dreamy eyes, though. Like, he already. That's how he looked. Yeah, but he looked, I mean, he looked like he didn't get no sleep. I don't know, man. He looked right to me. Go I ahead, mean, keep going. I mean, I'm talking about, I mean, physically, he was fine. I'm not yeah, giving yeah. him no no excuses. Yeah, yeah. He didn't make no excuses. Yeah. yeah. It's still the, I, I hate when. Even though he wasn't making no excuses, like yeah, he was the better man tonight. I want somebody to just one time say, he kicked my ass. Man. He he he's a better fighter than me. Man. I want somebody to be that not, real. Not even, uh, that's a lot for some, uh, a warrior to say. I know that. <laughs> I know that. And I know he's he's eager to get this rematch, but I just yeah. don't think he should do it. Me either. Bud is taking off right now, so he won't be making it. All on right. The show. Henry Washington. Hope Earl Ego don't cause him to get permanent. We got like hurt. over a thousand up right now. What if I announced that? Did everybody just bounce on this? <laughs> Henry Washington. I hope Earl Ego don't cause him to get permanently hurt. Mm -hmm. I'd rather see. I'd rather pay to see Sean rematch than Earl again. Ooh. Uh, Francis. You done, done, right? Francisco. Done, all the way done. Okay. Yeah, well, that, was, that was the question going around the house. If he comes back and he prepares, da 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 da. Who was asking that question? Was that gone already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, ding, ding. Oh, out. Gone. Out. Yeah, you. Second uh, the post yeah. fight interviews done, I, I'm not, there's no need for me to hang out. I feel like it was a couple things last night um, that that just were so impressive to me. First of all, in that second round, when he pushed Errol across the ring, I felt like that. He, I feel like he took his heart right there because then he got the knockdown after that because the whole thing has always been Errol is a stronger man. He, he's a stronger man, and and I never believed that. Hayfee, did we ever uh, release publicly um, the watchbacks? No, we ne we haven't released those yet, or we didn't. No. Uh, let's let's get those released. So we did um, the Puerto Rico watchback. Carson and I, if you've been paying attention to what we've been talking about on here in the lead up to the fight, I actually watched back my fight with Crawford, my fight with Spence for the first time since I fought both those guys. Never watched those fights. I've never, I don't watch my fights at all. Mm -hmm. I can count on one hand how many of my fights I've watched. Is there a reason? Never like watching myself. 
I'm like that with my stand up. Yeah. Never like yeah. watching myself. And I and I always consider myself to have a, a photographic memory to the point where I made it my a, a, a job of mine to mentally fix things that I saw happen in the fight opposed to watching it back. Mm -hmm. But when we did the watch back and I and we watched the fight I had with Crawford in the second round, he picked me up and I'm going somewhere. He picked me up, boom. Mm -hmm. And he was in fight mode. I was in boxing mode. Right. There's a difference. We saw fight mode last night and we saw boxing mode last night. And mm -hmm. I can point out to y'all some of those differences. But he picks me up, mm -hmm. literally, like I'm off my for a second, takes me to the to the ropes, and the bell rings short, shortly after that moment. And I'm walking back to the corner. And I, I do remember seeing him out the corner of my eye. But what I saw on the play, on the watchback was he said, you're too little. And he walks back to his corner. Mm. So when you're talking about how he, did you see him push uh, Spence up, push him back? That's a part of his mental makeup. Yeah. Let me see if I can bully you. Let me see if I can, if I can have my way with you. It was a rap. I seen that in the fight mm -hmm. when he put the first time he pushed him. I, cause I know what you're doing. Number one, I've been in there against it, right. and and I had to watch it back. So now I know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Pushing Spence, there was nothing uh, strategical about that. It was, can I have my way with you? Yeah, and I want to want to establish it. Francisco Nunes. Nunes. First, first super chat. I'm low key mad at Derrick James. He should have stopped the fight. I bet on Crawford to win, but damn. Damn. I thought he should have stopped the fight. I think that you just get to a point where you're not gonna win, and it's not about quitting. It's just about saving this, saving this, and not allowing number one it to get worse, and not allowing the health to get worse. And it is what it is, and that's <clears> what I said about my fight. My, I, I, it wasn't a matter of quitting. My dad just did not want it to get worse than what he saw. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with this fight right here. I'm not saying that they should have quit. Throwing in the towel don't mean you're quitting. Throwing in the towel means you're admitting I'm not the best guy tonight and I'm not going to win this fight. Let me get out of this. So I, I get the, they say I gave you your dad shit because what happened? Yeah, I, what, it is what it is. They, they say, oh, Anthony, what if that was your son? Sean Porter, now my son, get back up. Keep going. Mm. That three three times, yeah, my son's done. Mm -hmm. My son can't yeah. do nothing. You weren't you yeah. weren't battered when he stopped the fight. Yeah, yeah. And it was only a couple rounds left. Yeah. Um, that last night, I you know we were at the fight, so I don't know what was going on in the corner. I don't know if he was telling him like, yo, right. if you don't pick it up, I'm going to stop it. He right. asked him one time. He said, you want me to stop it? Earl's not going to say it. You yeah. Derek, you know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. Earl's not going to say He's stop. He's never it. seen yeah. his fighter in that kind of condition, so he didn't yeah. know what to do. Yeah. Um. But shit, man. Look, I, I, I'm still in awe. I think we all are. I'm in awe. I I'm, got a lot for y'all. Okay. I got a lot for y'all. got three more and we're done. Come on. Three uh, more and stop. Uh, <laughs> Bex Boxing beats. Sorry, but F. Bud beats Boots. He's pound for pound goat. Uh, and we ain't got a doors. How you going to say that over? I like Boots, but I mean, he hasn't beat anybody yet for somebody to say that makes you the pound for pound goat. Y'all want to hear yeah. something crazy? Yeah, the, this fight right here only juiced up boots, cause everybody's saying based on this performance that nobody can touch Terrence, mm -hmm. and he don't want to hear that. Right, he's right. juiced up. Y'all, y'all, y'all still think I can't beat him? He's juiced up. He ain't scared. He ain't ain't no fear in boots. I mean, he still not. want that fight. Of course, of course he does. He's not gonna get it. No, he's not gonna get it. He's not gonna get it. But um, get it. he will be able to possibly unify at welterweight after. After uh, Bud is gone, which he yeah. should be going after that fight. Yeah, um, he chasing them boys in one fifty four. Hey, so I'm saying, be be great. That'll be three times if he go one fifty four and win the belt. That's three times super. Mm -hmm. Then I said, chase super super greatness. <laughs> Come on, Canelo, one sixty. Well, if he if he can get in there with Charlo in like his next two fights where he still got age on his side, then maybe go up again. Like if he's trying to chase chase the greatness, but I mean he already done something that's never been done. Uh, Charlo don't want none of that. Smoke. Did, did you see when he knocked him down? He went straight to Charlo, talked shit to him on the first knockdown. After mm -hmm. the fight was over, back to Charlo, talking shit to him. He lost did not see thousand. I didn't see that. Did I didn't not see that. Yep. I saw this like the second knockdown. He was talking to somebody. Did you talk to your dad yet about this fight? Uh uh. Cause I know he was heavy spent. Seen him twice today. We have, but we was passing each other in the cars. Uh, he was. I was leaving home. He was coming in, and then I was coming home, and he was leaving. 
I'm curious to hear what he got. And I can't wait to hear what Tank probably not going to say. Another Tank was talking massive shit. Tank said <laughs> it's like a glass shield versus a stone shield or something like I, that. I believed all that shit. I believed <laughs> all that shit. William Lomax, shout you. Uh, we're doing one more and then we'll, I'll get the rest at the end, bro. Uh, Sean, can you explain your your it's time to be humble comment you made that Spence after the fight? No, no, no. That may have came after the fight. Yeah. But no, when I... The, your tweet about... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Style, yeah. But if it if it had gotten out in the in a timely fashion... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, What I was saying by that about that was it was time to be humble. Not have pride and we're, we're going to fight back and, and we're going to turn this around and all that kind of stuff. The corner was confused. If the corner was not confused... The fighter was confused. And sometimes the corner may not be confused, but the fighter cannot receive the information and go out there and deliver. Mm -hmm. And and they, I just could see that that wasn't going to turn around. And I even said, hey, I don't expect this to, but Spence has natural power and he can still thump. But be humble. Don't show pride and we're going to make it through this and it, it's about not throwing in the towel and finishing the fight. Sometimes you got to look after your health Sometimes you got to look at the after the health of your career, mm -hmm. and you have to look at the future. And I just don't think that the nine rounds that they ended up going, yep. I thought it should have meant seven. It is what it is. If if there was if there wasn't a stoppage by the ref, do you think it could have been a knockdown with a ten count at some point? Yeah, that was it, that that was it. Uh, Harvey Doc. Cause that was it, and Harvey's a great, a great ref. We knew that. We felt good about Harvey. I don't know who the hell was around the ring, but we felt good about Harvey, you know. And 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 I'm um I'm on record. Not, just I'll go on and I'll say this. My very first time coming in contact with Harvey Doc was when I fought Devin Alexander, and I'll never forget. I never had a ref push me so much in the fight. And I got, it started to wear on me in that fight I had with Devin. Because, yeah. you know, I'm forward mo motion. Mm -hmm. And he would break us. And then I'm on my way. And he would push and hold his arm out. And now I'm pushing against him in the fight. And I never forgot that. You I was like, I never. Talk to him about it after? Uh, no. Never talked to him about it. I don't think. I don't think I ever talked to him about it. But I was like, I never want him again. Yeah. And I think I got him once in another fight. I think I got him in another fight. Um, but then once I started to recognize, I said, yo, he's a really good referee. I, you know? I, I was saying that. But I, I'm going to say this, and then we can uh -huh. keep moving. We're going to come back to this because as much as I'm saying that they should have thrown in the towel and this just wasn't the night and save his career, save his health, look after his mental moving forward, all these other things, I'm an advocate for the rematch. I don't want the rematch. And we'll get there. Let's go back real quick. Anyway. Yeah, do it. Talk to him. Yeah, he... Fourth division, moved up, took on the unified champion, and shut him out. Shut him out, laid him down. What is it Ooh. about him? He's, he's, so we talked about, and it was, it was a funny lineup and shot the kid hyphen putting the clips out of what we were talking about before the fight on Sunday, before the Tuesday fight. But you were saying, well, has he ever, does he have to fight on, has he ever fought on his back foot? Can he fight from the outside? He fought full from the outside, and he smoked him. And then when it was time, and the one thing that, they kept mentioning he was doing jab to the body and never really brought the right hand up. Mm -hmm. And then the one time he did, mm -hmm. it's set up. It's yeah. set up. And he, he's mean too. Yeah. He's mean. Like I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's the first time I really saw him fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I get it. And, you know, people talk about he's too small to come up. We saw Pacquiao do it. Yeah. We saw Pacquiao do it. And, and I don't think they don't want no work for him at 135. I'm gonna go and ahead. That's the first time I've seen a man fight too, and from the outside looking in, I was just thinking about power, power, the boxing skills, yeah. mm. his eye, ring IQ, cutting mm. off the ring. He got it all. Mm -hmm. He got it all, and he established I'm here early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when he throws that right hand, yeah, he's already thirty though. That's one thing. Yeah, uh, as far as him, you know, he gonna have to go up fast if he wants to, you know, bang out a few more um, divisions. Yeah, um, but nah, dude is solid. I mean, I put him in that same same uh, conversation of Lomachenko, Lomachenko, Pacquiao, like great offensive fighters. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody mm -hmm. comes along with, with timing mm -hmm. and dis and discipline, mm -hmm. he can be beat. Mm. Mm. Um, Hell no. Two things for me. Mm -hmm. Number one, I did not see the fight. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, he's a yeah. It's a quick watch. But I want to. But I want to make that really apparent because yeah. I know that we got a lot of back backlash about yeah. not talking about NUA and all those things. I didn't. I didn't get up in time to watch it, and then I do live a very busy life. If it's not an excuse, I will watch this fight back for two reasons. Number one, shout out to Jimmy Lennon Jr. He had a uh, Sean Porter suit and a services collection shirt on, uh, suit on, this uh, at the weigh-in. And he said that he was very curious to see what I thought about the fight. Still have not had the time, the time to watch that fight. But I told him, hey, when I see this fight, I will tell you what I think about it. People like my intellectual, ex- uh, my, uh, yes, sir, and my analytical <laughs> mind <laughs> just for say, boxing. Just say picks. Uh-uh. <laughs> People like my analytical mind for boxing. Showtime apparently don't recognize, but um, we missed a moment, and that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Uh, they, you they think you should have been commentating last 100%. night. One hundred percent. I could yeah. hear. I think you've been great. You fought both of the guys. That would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah. would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. And um, no, I ain't perfect. I and yeah. Uh, yeah. but I just want I want to like and the other and I want to but I want to clear it up that I'm not hating on him. I'm not uh, uh, so high on Stephen Fulton that I just don't care or anything like yeah. that. I simply have not had the time. I will get to it, and when I do, I will dive deep into that, that might for be a, y'all. That might be a podcast rewatch. Me Absolutely. And you. I like that. I, I like that, big dog. I do what I can. And the number two thing about NUA, I'm looking to see, and it's no longer uh, uh, Isaac Cruz. But I thought between Isaac Cruz. Isak. Isak, excuse me, yeah. I thought that between Isak Cruz and NUA, we might have the next fighter, f- foreign fighter for the second words, who could translate to the American audience. I do believe that that is NUA. Yeah. I think NUA is the next. Manny Pacquiao, not not at that going all the way up the weight class and all that stuff, but someone who's extremely ex- explosive, mm-hmm. eye catching, and also inviting to who he is as a as a fighter and as a person. Yeah, it could be him. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll get to obviously to the where Bud is now, pound for pound. Bud is on the plane now. I, okay, <laughs> but there there's two fighters that are one either one A, one B, one and two. In my opinion, it's in a way than Bud. You can have Bud in any way. I don't Ooh. mind. It's fine. But then there's a gap that's no, about. No, 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 no. That's by a gap between no, Bud no. and in way. But based on what? Let me ask you that. He beat. I never. He beat a world class. Which, which one weight of the class? Best How many weight classes he gone up? No, no. I'm talking about who? Bud? Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Has Inouye beat a world class, a great of all, yeah. one of the greatest all time welterweight? Is He's not welterweight. What kind of sense does that I'm make? Saying, has he beat somebody that great? Uh, where is uh, Nonito Donaire going after his career? Hall of Fame? Is he, he beat him twice. Yeah, but he, but wasn't, it, he, he wasn't will be a level of fighter. Spence. He, so this was his, We're not going to do this. This was his fourth <laughs> division that he moved up. Bud's been up three. And again, this is I mean, the, these are those two are extremely and, close. And what he's he moving did, up from third grade weight. Like, uh, that's easy I, to move up. Easy. Well, how come everybody else doesn't do it? Nah, well, I think Bud, first of all, Bud is 35 years old, right? Yeah. He's moved up from... Uh, 35. He started at 35, 40, 47. And he, if the fights that he wanted would have came quicker, he would have moved up quicker. You know, he's been waiting for this fight for a really long time. That could be uh, a fact. And Because I retired at 33, and I thought I was going to retire at 30. And if I had got the fights that I wanted sooner, I would have been gone. Yeah. I just, I just don't, I just don't understand the discrediting of the weight classes. No, in, in any way, anyway, is great. He's a great fighter. He's right but there. Who, I mean, those lower weight classes, we really don't know those people. Those are not popular weight classes. So, but you know, po- but I guess to, not to cut you off, but is is pound for pound? Is it a popularity contest? No, no, if it no. Is, that's fine. No, I the, mean it's kind of, kind of a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and to be fair, it's a mythical list, so there's no like. Right answer in the, in the grand scheme of things. It's hard for me to put him over. Uh, <laughs> what, do you think it is? <laughs> well, there's no, there's no, like, if anything, you should say, yeah, you're right. Because well, there's no, like, it, it, it's, it's, it technically is mythical. Yeah. But it's really about pound for pound means your skill. Yeah. Right? And I think that the skill that we saw last night is makes him a no brainer number one pound for pound. He was already there. He was already there. He beat and a pound for pound. I will read, read really this one from Real Deal. He said, bro is obsessed with the NUA. That's fine. I, you, can, you can say that. that I, don't mm. mind, I don't mind that at all. And again. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Of I mean, course. And I, I'm not saying Bud is miles behind him. I, I think those two are like razor thin. And then it's like 
like a way down, and then mm. I lose it. So I think the gap they're, they're, between those two is clearly close, one and two. No question. Anyone has either of those not in the one and two, they're just wrong. Run, move forward. Yeah. Where are we at? <laughs> Go ahead. Dan, Dan Raphael uh, yesterday said something. I think it was him. He said that this was comparable to like Mayweather Gotti. I'm going to go Mayweather Corrales, where it was the bigger guy was supposed to beat Floyd and two undefeated champions, they both both at the peak of their career. I would give it more of that, where it was just like a dominant performance. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, that was a huge fight at the time. This yeah. is a bigger fight, but it was that type of that type of victory. I wouldn't go Gotti. I mean, Floyd beating Gotti, that was probably that was, the, that was, that was one of the, the worst. The, the fact that we had in the same week in a way, his performance and Buds, mm-hmm. where we're both, we're all like, man, these are two close fights, and they kicked the shit out of both of their opponents yeah. and stopped them like eighth round, ninth round. Like, I, I think Bud performance rounds anyways. Well, it's re- it happened yesterday. So I know, but I'm just recency saying, bias. Fulton is we not, don't know how good Fulton really was. He was we know how good Earl Spence was. Fulton was a good really, fighter. He was undefeated. Yeah, I was gonna champion. say so. Now he but, wasn't on the pound pound list though. Some people had him there. He's yeah. unified champion. I mean, in he barely beat Brandon Figueroa. All right, so well now I'm just gonna say that you're just it's revisionist history. You were Stephen Fulton's this, and now all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I don't know, was he really that no, good? No, I never said Stephen Fulton good. that's good. No, I mean, no. you're just saying I'll now, well, it. he barely beat I was Figueroa. Well, he did, I said not, that too. Three I said that too. Yeah, no, I just feel like now it's easy to say, well, was he I'm that never said, good? Uh, I think both of them are great. Are know. we ready for this Bud versus in a way? No, breakdown. We ready. Oh, I'm about to say, it's talking about yeah, a rematch. I'm about to say, I don't even want, I'm not buying them. And also, yeah, shout I, want, out, I want to hear what you got to say. Well, shout out to Sneeze Estrada. Yeah. Who also defended her titles. Yeah. Right, let's go. Yeah. Do we even want to touch on the undercard? Yeah, Maybe no. brief. <laughs> no. Uh, no uh, Nito I will lost. say this about uh, uh, Isak Cruz. Um, yeah, what the, that fight was, a, that was a wild time. An extremely, <laughs> uh, he's exciting, or was exciting. I think yeah. this solidifies him as not being, but he's ex- he is extremely limited. Yeah, I don't know if he won this fight. I, w- I was moving around. <laughs> Shout out to GQ Sports. Wasn't able to really watch it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it was a weird fight. the fact that it was extremely weird and hard to to judge, and that's primarily because you got a guy with a name. This is the key thing. Isak, if he doesn't get in the ring with with Tank and have that kind of performance that he has with Tank, even though I thought he lost, yeah. he I thought he. G- he he lost that fight, but being in the ring and it being somewhat of a close fight to a lot of people, he gained a lot of popularity. Yeah. He doesn't make it to this point, this moment, if he isn't in the ring yeah. with, um, if he isn't in the ring with Tank Davis. That being said, we're gonna get a get a quick word from our sponsor, and we'll come right back. All right, Sean. So we got no, a big. No, no. <laughs> This week, we got Jake Paul against Nate Diaz. Mm. So what we want you to do, go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, download that bad boy, put in our promo code, TPWP, and tell them what's going to happen. New customers bet $5, get $150 in bonus bets instantly into your account. That's right. We got a good fight coming up this week. Jake Paul getting back in the ring Mm. with Nate Diaz, UFC's finest. Yeah, one of the best. He's a legend over in the UFC. But Jake Paul has been doing his boxing thing a while now. And he got a reputation when he's getting these MMA fighters in the ring. They get sleepy. They getting sleepy. We don't want you to get sleepy. What we want you to do, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and our promo code TPWP. New customers, bet $5, get $150 back in bonus bets. That sounds beautiful. And of course, we want to thank DraftKings for sponsoring this episode. Hey, V, you be doing your thug dizzle. Are we so, still? Are we back? Yeah, we're back, baby. Hey, B, you be doing your thug dizzle. Okay, that was dope. No. It didn't hit the same the second time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it wasn't the second take. It was one take, baby. We want to take poppies around here, okay? So this week, we got another big fight. I don't know how exciting you, you guys are, but I'm, I'm hyped for this one. I'm, I'm not. Uh, is there we, pain we got, you guys, we got, I'm hyped na- for it. Yes, you are, Naeem Lynn. I'm not hyped for this fight. I'm going to mess up my money. Uh, we got <laughs> Nate, Nate Diaz versus... Jake Paul, yeah. down in uh, Texas. Sean, yeah. you'll be in the building. I will be in the building doing work for someone who decided to hire me, uh, The Zone. And I want to thank The Zone for hiring me to do some work with y'all. Y'all recognize the skill, and I appreciate and that. And thank DraftKings. And also would like to thank DraftKings, of course, for sponsoring this episode, listen, um, or this segment. Uh, I, what I'm curious is to see who Jake Diaz is now. I, or excuse me, 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 me
Because this is what we have not seen. We have not seen a mean Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. We've seen a Jake Paul who's been able to find it, land it. That's all she wrote. Then you let the boxing world take advantage of you. Tell you you ain't fought nobody. You want to get in the ring with a boxer, and the decision don't go your way. Even though I thought he won that fight, you yeah. thought he won the fight against? I did against to Tommy Fury. I did. He got oh, he, he lost, huh? Oh, that okay. how hard was it to score that fight? I'm so Both glad of them I got got, got points taken. I'm glad I have no opinion on. One this. of them got dropped. I mean, it was it was a mess. I yeah. thought I thought Tommy got it by two rounds. It was it was a mess, but nonetheless, he done hired Coach Wade. Yeah, see strength him. and conditioning. I I didn't see him in video and stuff like that. I mean, he looks fantastic. And you gotta imagine. I'm going back to where I started this mm. fighting MMA fighters. I got something to prove. I think we got a mean Jake Paul coming to the ring on fight I night. I think he'll beat And this ain't going the distance. So what bets we got that ain't going the distance? So we we don't have we have straight up bets so far oh, on this fight up. for uh, with DraftKings. So you go, so you got. The six and six and one. Yeah, Jake Paul. Yeah, coming out against one of the guys out of UFC. He beat. I think he beat, touched up McGregor like a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. McGregor's known for, known known to be how them hands, but yeah. uh, 22, 13 losses. Yeah, uh, zero and zero in his boxing how career. How old is Nate Diaz? Nate Diaz. I'm not yeah, in the eight, late thirties. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, late thirties. Uh, he a softball. Does 38. that thirty eight? Softball. Does that do anything for you? Uh, against Jake, against Jake Paul, yes it does because okay. Jake is not an X's and O's guy. Still, he's still getting a good, good understanding and grip of hey, this is what you do against the softball, blah 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 blah. So that could slow down. Tell me what the knockout uh, bet. We, don't we got, only have we, the straight we, up. We have, well, they only has DraftKings only offering a straight up belt okay. bet. So with that negative uh, three hundred and seventy thousand uh -huh. dollars, yeah, when you about twelve hundred seventy dollars. Yeah. So uh, you gotta bet it though. But yeah, you if you made it. a bet, it's Jake Paul. Bet you bet Jake Paul. You bet Jake Paul. He's a decently decent Paul. favorite. Yeah, decent favorite. Yeah. And you go to DraftKings Sportsbook um, app and you download that bad boy. And of course, if you were watching the ad, if you download that, you are a first timer. You bet five, you get a hundred and fifty back in bonus bets. So there's our sponsor and, right there. And if you want a little while. And want to take the under un, the the uh, underdog plus two sixty five thousand dollars when you back thirty six hundred. That ain't bad. Yeah, that ain't not bad. bad. You know, I'm all about I'm all about the plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to come bad. up. That ain't bad. That I'm about the bad. investment. That ain't bad. But listen, we want to thank DraftKings for this for sponsoring this segment right here, and we want to get right back to what we were talking about before uh, we cut away to that to that yeah. segment right there. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about Cruz. Yeah, he's was, extremely limited. Cabrera had the um, very weird combination of. Yeah. Bad defense. No, give, and him a, give him his chin credit. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. Bad defense, but the most immaculate chin of all time. So he's getting hit by everything. And all of us were watching Antos. We're like, oh, he's got to be hurt. And he's not. And I was like, what What the hell is going on? But he here? didn't get hit by everything. No, he got hit, hit by, by everything. everything. No, he did. <laughs> Including yes, a truck. Isak Cruz swings and misses. How many strikeouts did he have the entire night? Yeah, he threw about 500. He ran about 100. A baseball shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that boy then he was off the team yeah. by the by the eighth by he, the eighth round. I get all right, so we'll say his maybe his batting average wasn't high, but he was landing some home run swings. This is what I would say, and obviously I want to be respectful about this, yeah. but this performance that you just saw from Isak Cruz, this is what you can expect from someone who can move. Yeah, because Isak cannot move and punch at the same time, and he does not throw direct shots. To, he doesn't touch you to find you to land it, which is what. Errol does, which is what he wasn't able to do. We'll get yeah. to that in just a minute. I mean, I, I got a lot for that. Yeah. But moving forward, you can expect you got to put somebody in the ring with Isak that is not going to move. They said Ryan was the guy they threw out there, but we'll see if that comes Ryan to Ryan the guy. Yeah. You, know, you think he's going to be no Ryan? No, 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 I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yeah. But before this fight, I thought he was going to be, he was a fan favorite of about to be. The crowd was still he, going crazy for him. Look, yeah, he, he became, like you said, he became popular over the fight with Tank, yeah. which he, he was a replacement for. So yeah. Tank didn't have time to actually mm. prepare for this guy, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. people mm. forget about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then he, he watched uh, Gamboa, an uh, old Gamboa. So I'm really not convinced on dude. I would like to see him fight Ryan Garcia, somebody, you know, with a little bit more. It's kind of a now or never situation. You putting him in there with Ryan yeah. Garcia, and I ain't mad at that. Um, I won't go as far as say now or never, but I would like to see him fight somebody up 
up there in the top five. Yeah. yeah. I think he's riding this, this yeah, going that. 12 with Tank Wave as yeah. long as he can ride. That's done. Yeah. Last night, it's done. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. I, so, I, I'll and then curious. we can move, and, and we're done. Yeah, I'll so. be curious to see him. I think <laughs> oh, they, it seems like they're angling him that way. But yeah. We'll see what happens. But And lastly, we, we won't see Isak Cruz versus uh, Javante Tank Davis. We no. won't? We won't. So, mm-hmm. let it go. I'm Come back fight in D.C.? Let it go. Knocks him out? Let it go. I'm good for it. We we want we want. I either want it not to happen or thank to that. knock him out. Yeah, hey, that's I he want it just Cruz, so he like, can shut him up. Yeah, he's a good fighter. This just, is what this just, is what's not going to happen. Um, Rigaru. Uh, Regis Progre. Regis Progre. Rugaru. Rugaru. Uh, Shout out Cedar Point. Not the best performance, but yeah. he fought himself into a fight. Yeah. That boy didn't fight himself into a fight. Yeah. Tank and his team ain't gonna look at that and say, "Oh yeah, we gonna get him and shut everybody up." No, we don't need him. Yeah. And they're gonna keep it moving. Is Haney and Progress, are they still? It I seems see. to be happening. Yeah, but. October I like 30 it. something. Apparently I nothing's like been it. like signed or anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I heard something last night to where it was like maybe they're going backwards on that Yeah, right mm-hmm. now. Like um, it seems like they said that it was good and then Regis was like, well, the money, you made yeah. better. And they were like, well, if you agreed to the fight, <laughs> you can't afterwards him say him that the money's not making sense. were chirping on Twitter yeah. and last night. Um, Haney and Shakur. I and love Shakur, man, but. He talk, of, he talking crazy. He said, yeah. he, "He said I'll take the twenty five percent if you bet your purse." Like you know, <laughs> like, like, that don't make no sense. Yeah. Well, Mike Carpenter said it was official. Yeah, that that <laughs> that makes me think that it's unofficial. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. This main event, main this main event, event. Yeah. this main event. I mean, I got so much, so so the walkouts. Much. Let's just focus on that. Hey, oh. hey, one, <laughs> hey, one of the greatest walkouts yeah. ever. Yeah, my man came with the no. fishnet. I, I was like, I like the is that him? It's, ah, I lost my shit. M didn't rap. He didn't rap, though. He's yeah, like, you got to pay me a little bit more. Because he get paid to rap. No, oh, stop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a, oh, he's a, I, I, truly, you. I truly think this was a favor. I don't think mm-hmm. I don't think this was, this wasn't no, It was you definitely know? a favor, but he said, yeah. you want me to rap, you got to pay me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. a favor. That was a, yeah. bath, that was a bathroom break for me. Man, I was, I, I had chills when, when he came out to the, the song, everything. Man. I was like, man. I got, I got hype, Naeem. That, that, you know, playing high school football one time, we came out as a team to that song. It's just so inspirational. I know mm. you know, you didn't feel like it was, but yeah. just, that song, that moment, it was everything. The smoke, the look. It was like it was like this is a movie shit. This is a Michael B. Jordan shit. But then when he walked in before he went to the ring, I didn't know if it was. I couldn't tell if it was focus or nerve or nerves. It looked like he almost was nervous a little bit. What you mean, Terrence? Before he, when he before he walked in, I know he did a little prayer and everything. Mm-hmm. He, that the look on his face, I couldn't tell if it was nerves or just super super focused. Yeah. yeah. Let me but, tell you what that was. My man was trying to literally enjoy that moment okay he was soaking it up mm-hmm. and when i seen him standing there because i know what that's like when they like go 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 mm-hmm. he like yo and he ain't let nobody disrupt him and eventually he was just like they was go 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 and he looked at him he was like let's roll yeah he was good but it was just let me soak this up let me feel this mm-hmm. because those are the parts of the, of the game that are it's a little bit easier than when you get in the ring you right. know what I mean? That that walk, especially when it, when you planned it out and it's about to take off the way you wanted it to, he was soaking that up. There was no nervousness for either of these guys. Mm-hmm. Sh- yeah. Sean, you've never been on both sides of this whatever side of the street, but I felt PBC took care of Terrence this week. They yeah. treated him like like you a superstar, like the way top rank should have. Well, they signed, the, they signed him yeah. for, you know, two yeah. fights. And I think it was just so much... Your own pay per view. Yeah. It was hard to find Terrence fights sometimes. Yeah, it took. I remember people going through hell trying to get your fight on. Yeah, but it's like being over there. He was actually treated like he's like the superstar he is. Well, yeah. Imagine Bob Aram and, and was Omaha was in the in the building last night. They so were. They, tra- they, they traveled. Omaha like, was they in the building, like a and it was probably a 50-50 just crowd yeah. um, uh, support. Yeah. Okay. Like. It might have even been pro Crawford. It was pro Crawford. Yeah, you think so? One hundred percent. It probably depend on where you were sitting, but it was like he got a lot of a he, lot get, of he got he got love. Yeah. People travel to see him. But people travel with Earl too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, they pulled up for your fight. That how do, time. how yeah. do we want? How do we want to go through this? Key points. Talk about just overall. Wherever, the wherever one, chant want to start at. Yeah, yeah. I got so many. The notes. one thing that go ahead. And, and, and my man out there, shout out to Malcolm Gandy. Uh, Check us out. Um, this suit line has launched officially last night. 
Um, Sean P. Suits. <laughs> they didn't even, they didn't even pay us. You got paid for this? No. Sean Did P. You? Suits on Twitter and uh, Sean Porter Suits on Instagram. That's how you contact us, and we will um, fit you to fit you. Um, but the reason why I bring him up and I bring that up along with that unshameless plug is we sat down last night when I got home and we just talked and talked and talked about this fight. He said it was an orca against a uh, against a shark. You know how I feel about those damn orcas. And when you when of course when he when he when he said that of course I thought of you, but he said that and it was like monsters. he said you know what orcas do they play with their food. Yeah. Orcas will play with their food for damn hours. They throw up in the air just for kicks and giggles. Will Sick play bastards. with food for hours before they eat it. I'm like what for real? Yeah, that's how they get down. It looked like he was playing with them. I said I don't think he was necessarily playing with them. I think that he's extremely smart. And he goes for it when he knows it's there. A lot of people think that that nine rounds wasn't necessary. He could have got him out sooner. That's that orca. I know when I'm going to get you. And I know when you're ready. And I know when I'm ready. And I think it really legitimately took nine rounds for that to happen. But I thought that based on that wordplay with the orca and, and, and you you know, and, and all respect to Spence. Yeah, you know, yeah. But he called himself a shark. And I just yeah. thought that, yeah, that's smooth right there. Yeah. Look, oh, there it is. Man, I, I had to put some work in to get that shot. So I met M last well, night. Well, that was trying not to let you in? <laughs> no, nah, this was you after the you, fight. Did you not text Royce? The, here's the thing. And this is why I'm bringing this, this shot up right now. Yeah. Royce is right there behind M. That's funny. And I'm going to say this right now to Royce because I know you you watching or you going to see this. Bro, you was incognito. I did not realize that was Royce. Royce, after I took the shot, Royce and I dapped up. And he said, I'll get up with you. And I heard his voice <laughs> the, the, between the hat and the glasses. You have a fake mustache on? I just did not recognize that That's it was funny. Royce. And then when he said that, we that I went to time. I was like, wait, wait a minute. I said, I'm going to get up with you. I'm bringing you back. So like, I'm gonna you be, look like you're about 5'9". Wait a second. I'm going to be bringing Royce in to do a show uh, like in the next week or two. I don't so. believe in texting your friends to get to somebody else. I have people be texting me, hey, can you cook me out with Kevin? I'm not friends with Kevin. I'm friends with Naeem. You friends with Naeem? This Are nigga better than my good? friends. This nigga gotta leave. Naeem exhaled for a second. That wasn't you know, a good time. He used that word loosely. So they get in the ring. <laughs> Comfortable acquaintances. <laughs> so they get in the ring. And I just, I, my thing is, let me see eyes. Let me see the, the, the body, the sweat. Let me make sure you're hot, yeah. all that. Everything looked up to par. Yeah, both of them, I thought. Everything looked Man. up to par. The one thing that stuck out to me was... I could, well, Air, or, uh, Bud started out Southpaw. I was thinking exactly. We were like, I, don't, yeah. I was like, thank, thank you, you silly, <laughs> you silly SOB. Okay, like, okay. thank Quick you. Quick announcement. <laughs> this show is going to go as long as it's going to go today. Because I got a lot. Our producer's hey, not happy about that. Does the AC work? Peace be with you. Yeah. Uh, is it hot in there? Yeah. yeah. It's, there, thirsty. it's not hot. There, um, he starts out Southpaw. Yeah. So we were, I was and like, thank you. Thank you, Terrence. He was quoted for saying, we were, the only thing we were worried about was his jab. Mm hmm. And here's the interesting part about that. The interesting part about that is you would think you're not worried about Spencer's jab. You're worried about him going to the body. Mm -hmm. You're worried about his his left hand. Right. You're worried about him thumping you. You're right. not worried about no... That, worried about the a jab. jab set everything else up. The jab yeah. set everything up. That, that would have yeah. been the first thing I would have said. Sean, when, when I there. seen Terrence fighting in the first 10 seconds, I said, fuck. I never seen Ter Terrence ready to go. Yeah. You want to fight? Let's fight. They were exchanging jabs at the same time, but Terrence was catching it. And, and it was landing. so fast. The jab was so damn fast. You know, fast. That, that, that right jab is a power punch. <laughs> yeah. That's not a jab. That is a power punch. Yeah. He's naturally right-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Which it was, it so, was, he was able to mix things up. He's able to use it as a jab. He yeah. obviously, a couple of the knockdowns, Use it as a as an uppercut and then kind of as a hook on the one. But and for anybody who 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 doesn't understand why he came out of southpaw, the southpaw takes away the jab because yeah. now we're going jab for jab. And and watch that first round back. It, that first round wasn't about going jab for jab and let me beat you to punch and counter punch you and things like that. Terrence was extremely smart and uh, strategic in that first round. Watch that first round back. You don't see him exchanging a lot. And you're right, he did uh, come out, and it, and it looked like it was hot when he first came out. But I just needed to establish that you can't come too close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But as soon as he established that, it was, let me catch everything. Let me defend everything. Kept that right hand up and kept it at home the entire night because he was setting something up. Pay attention. He don't let go and of that it, left hand at all in that first round. And it round. didn't even, like, with, with Aaron also, just to say, yeah, I was wrong. I'm wrong all the time. So, <laughs> hard to point that out. I'm, I don't have an ego with that, especially boxing. But, but you it, don't know when you're right. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, you have that's to. That's why they like to. But also, side. when I'm wrong, I, I tweeted yesterday, yeah, I was wrong. But um, what it came down to, and what I kept saying beforehand, was like, Errol's not going to make as many mistakes. He's just more fundamentally sound. He's this, he's that. And it almost didn't even matter, because Terrence was so fast and so sharp. Like, I don't even, like... It, it was the timing more than Yeah, more than it was quickness, just like, was he just... was, everything was, was right. And so, like, even if Errol and, and my cousin Drew were sitting there, and he's like... What should he do? I was like, I don't know what he should do. Like, Bud's just, he's just firing like that. Like, there's not much you can do differently. Styles make fights, and we already know that. Yeah. And I said, these styles mesh perfectly. You're either going to get the guy being aggressive, and that takes two, and that takes advantage of the guy who wants to sit back and counterpunch, or the guy who can counterpunch is going to find that space, going to punch in between the gloves, and the other one's not going to be able to do anything about yeah. it. And I really got worried for Spence when Spence got in the inside and started holding. I never seen Spence looking for the hole. Like, and y'all go back and watch. Was the second or the third round when when Terrence muscled him? Yeah, he found it. He was like, if I can muscle you, I can beat you. What did you yeah. think of the first knockdown, all of you? Man, it was beautiful. It yeah. was a it was a flat so flash. It was a flash knockdown. But you know what? I thought about um, after that knockdown and also the the when you fought him. He's a great down puncher. Mm-hmm. Which yes. is, is, is difficult. To <laughs> yes, it's difficult yeah. to punch somebody when they duck. He punches down That's accurately. Funny. He knows mm-hmm. that. That's yeah. You there's so many fighters that swing over mm-hmm. the head, yeah. and not many know how to punch down. You're right. Yeah, Earl last night. No Earl threw some guy? shots, and he literally just dipped and got the hell out what of there. What do you think, Ant? When you saw the knockdown? Knockdown. The, the tides has turned. The I could believe he got in that second down. round. Second you round know already? What it felt like to me. I felt like th- that was it. It was like like Hakeem Olajuwon on a Raptors jersey, where it just doesn't make sense. Like I'm like, what is Errol Spence doing on the ground right now? Man, like, it, I thought he was gonna get up and, and start bringing yeah, it. After it wasn't that, even. It, he tried. I couldn't even fathom yeah, it. Like, I was that like, third oh, round, he tried. He tried. They, they, that, and that was the adjustment I, yeah. I saw. Um, I'm on record for saying there were gonna be three or four adjustments in yeah. the fight. And then How many after that, I saw three. None by, of them by Spence? Actually, I saw four. None of them worked. No, no, no. I saw the first adjustment was um, Terrence just establishing, hey, I'm, I want you to bring that, that forward. I want you to have forward momentum. That was the first round. Second round is, let me take advantage of this, of this forward momentum. After Spence gets knocked down in the second round, it was third adjustment was, let me be even more aggressive. And then I saw another adjustment late in the fight. Everybody's saying, oh, he's just messing with him. He's just playing with him. No, he's not. My man made another adjustment for no reason. But let me just do something to get you to open up. Let me do some other things. He started stepping just to get you to open up, just to get you to change, to, to get in your head and get yeah. you to do something else. And, and one time Smith did catch him with the back. With a left shot. Yeah. And buzzed him. Yeah. And then, like in the third round, I think. And he yeah. was right back on it. Yeah. When that's yeah. When yeah. Bud was talking to, I think it was actually Stephen A. Smith. And he said, when he hit me with that flush shot, I thought, that's it? Like, that's that's the power you have? Mm. Like, it's going to be a long night for you, hey, buddy. When he, I say the prettiest punch in the whole fight was right before the stoppage when he caught the left hook and countered with the same hand. He caught, he, he, yeah, he caught, he caught him, he caught the left hook and then countered with the right hook. Man, that was, yeah, that was, that was a beautiful punch, man. He made Earl Spence's left hand look basic and simple as possible. I was like, he literally was just like, yeah, that's it. That's all you got. That's the, and that's the thing with Earl. And I said this last night, I was talking to, um, shout out to Bernardo, um, um, uh, Asuna. Yeah. I saw him in the back. And I was talking to him and a couple other people about the fight. I said, here's the thing. Errol Spence is not hard to prepare for. You watch a couple of fights of Errol and you know what to do. Right. Errol ain't making these big wild adjustments. Errol ain't coming to the fight a counter puncher this day and then a, and then you know a fast puncher from the outside that day. He's he's basic, he's fundamental, he's straight, he's a straightforward fighter. Not no he he's great at yeah, what he yeah. does. Right. But for Terrence 
It was, let me figure out how to take this 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 jab away from him. And I know that he is a one, two, three fighter or a double jab straight left fighter or a one, two dig to the body. Let me take those simple combinations away and he's nothing. But you say that, Sean, at the same time, it's work for Earl. Of course. No one else could beat it. And it'll probably work because he just keeps everybody he else. <laughs> he don't get tired. He keeps coming forward. That jab stay in your face. So, yeah. although you, that's why everybody said, I see something. Remember Danny Garcia? I see something. Mikey Garcia. No, so, Danny Garcia. Danny Mike, Garcia Mike, said Mike, Mike, it was Mikey. Mikey, 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 Mikey. Danny said it. Danny? Too. Danny? Oh, Danny ain't never said that. No, Danny. I hope Danny didn't after, say that. After whoever you fought right before Danny, he said. Me? Was it him? Yeah. He said, I, he said, I see something. You're thinking of Mikey. No, it was, no. Mikey definitely Danny said Danny was it. at the fight. They both, they both yeah, said yeah, it. Yeah, he was at the fight. Danny yeah. was at the fight. He Come said, on, nah, Danny, learn from, Mikey, <laughs> <laughs> learn from Mikey, damn it. Learn from Mikey. Yeah, I mean. So with that being said, everybody's saying, yo, he's so great. What is it about, step, about Crawford? Crawford, and this is why there's three principal styles in boxing. Hey, and what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing it all, It's baby. your notes? Yeah. I yeah. thought you was in the. Chat. Oh, I thought you was talking about the Sean Porter Suits and Services collection. Yeah. Where, can you, where can you pick that, that up at? Right now. Yeah, is there a website? Uh, on on Twitter. Yeah, no website. Because I already That's said that. Sean Pete. Sean Pete Suits. Not a website. No, it's not a website. Go ahead. We don't need websites so nowadays. No, 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 yeah, yes, you should. should, yeah. should where am I supposed to get it at? They should message the Twitter. Do y'all want me to come back to the sport of boxing? No. All right then, shut the hell up and let no, me do no, it. No, 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 no. Shut yeah, the yeah. hell up. You know I'm doing my best for you not to come back. Let's yeah. keep going. All right then. And y'all can hit I'm us up on, on, on Instagram. I'm a plumber. Sean, I'm a plumber. <laughs> Sean Porter Seuss. But yes, these are my. There it is. Hey, Look at them. Hey, who? They even following Look you. Look at them. They not following you. Guess what? Guess what? We <laughs> launched yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, we launched yeah. yesterday. Show, show, show the, show the clip of me and and and, and, and Mr. Irvin. God damn it. Y'all, yeah, yeah, they brought this on y'all. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I see right now. This dude is clean. I told him. He's doing that thing that I've been trying to teach everybody. You see, suits. Yes. Sometimes you can bring a suit anywhere. Yes. But you got to know how to work the gut of the suit. Come on now. You see this shirt tie combination? That's what I call working the gut. He striped up the shirt and gave you a tie. So people, this is how you, this is what I call, you can be conservative clean. A lot of you people think, oh, I'm just conservative. He's too much. You can be conservative clean. Yeah. You yeah. just got to step up yeah. your game. So this like is, this, this right? is. Sean commercial. Porter Suits and Services. We fit you to fit you. So you can be flashy, clean, fly like yeah, Mr. Can, Irvin and I. I got Or you can fit like you. I came up to him and said, Dog, you clean. You look like I look on TV. And, 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 and let me ask you this. Have I been paying attention to the NFL or have I been paying attention to the NFL? My God. I appreciate you, sir. Shout out to Mike Irvin with the cocaine white t shirt. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. I'm also nervous that that button I said white I said shirt. No, that button, that button, that button shirt. I've added an inch everywhere, okay? Yeah. I've added an inch everywhere. But no, listen, there's three principal styles in boxing. You got a boxer, somebody who can move, use the whole ring, pivot, can get out of any situation, can box from the outside, great jab, great fundamentals. Your mic is falling off of your shirt, sir. You got you got you got a counter puncher who will who will, who has great anticipation, great timing. Can pick up on anybody's rhythm, see the punches before they come in. Shakir Stevenson, a master counter puncher and a master boxer. He's two of the three. But then you got an aggressive fighter who's gonna get in on the inside, who's gonna push you up against the ropes, gonna, gonna box you and fight you and make the fight happen all night long. Man, 50%. Terrence Crawford is all three. He landed 50% of his punches. Terrence right. Crawford is all three. So where you think that, yeah, Matt Mayweather is one of the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Mayweather at one point was pretty, pretty boy Floyd. Yeah. He was flashy, fly, everything. Funky flesh, <laughs> funky fresh fly, everything. Yep. But he wasn't coming, he wasn't coming to get you and all that. He could counter punch you and he could outbox you and he could put the punches together and stun you. He was stopping people though. He was, and he was stopping people, but mm -hmm. he wasn't all three. Mm -hmm. He was two of the three. So, so and then I'm later saying, in his career, he he's just—he's just—he's won later in his career. I don't want to say just, but he's won later on in his career. Well, what are you saying right now? I'm saying that Terrence Crawford is special. 
Okay. Terrence Crawford is elite. Terrence oh. Crawford is different. But are, are you saying he's yeah. better than Prime for, Mayweather? Uh, Absolutely not. Okay. Right. What I'm saying is for for his era and for who he is and how he beat a man that a lot of people thought was invin invincible, mm -hmm. he did it because he has qualities that not even that guy who y'all thought was invincible had. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to ask the check out also. Last night, that Terrence Crawford, what chances you give him versus Floyd? I don't know. Man, it's so hard to say because yeah. uh, Floyd is probably the smartest and the best defensive fighter that I've ever seen. Yes. But uh, Bud has the IQ as well, and he likes to fight, mm -hmm. and he has the knockout power. So it's hard to say, but, uh, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to pick anybody over That's Mayweather. A, that, that timing is... is... Man. But 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 Floyd. That's Floyd what I'm defense. talking about. That Floyd timing is. Yeah yeah. That defense. Yeah. It, it would be amazing to watch the chess match of how versatile offensively Terrence is yeah. and how good defensively Floyd is. Because I don't yeah. think Bud. I mean, there's no Floyd, but I don't think Bud's fought anybody like even in that direction really. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And so I think just watching them try to. That was the best defense out. I've seen him display last night. But yeah, yeah. That might I did been, not expect that. that look. How could you not expect that? Because I've never seen that before you fight from him. Up to your competition. Okay, I got you. And so, what he did he do? So, he fought fight. down to you? No, no, no. And, but some people. Because he didn't down. use defensive style. No disrespect. He didn't use a lot of defense with you. No, nah, I'm moving. I'm different, yeah, too. Yeah, I think it's more. I was like, different, too. You know, you hear, but Sean is a little bit unpredictable no. sometimes yes, in the yeah. ring. Especially after we saw, you know, what he did against Spence. He became a little bit more unpredictable. Before that, I figured you were just a guy that likes to come bully people, right? You mm -hmm. show something different. Spence has never shown anything different. Yeah. So like, he was yeah. able to f fully prepare for that. He knew everything that was coming. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's hard. To, it's hard to say like what you're saying. But man, I, I just don't. That was. That might have been hmm. his best performance ever last yes. night. I no, no, and, no question. And his best. I think he beat him up more than he beat anybody else at welterweight. I'm not crazy about this guy's name, but I'm going to say it anyway. Acid Breaks, he said, after last night's fight, you got to respect Porter's greatness. Salute. Having said that, PBC has not, has not, but I think he means no choice but to give Crawford his respect now. So there was an argument in the room. Had to be. Uh, how does this make Sean look better? Then there was another argument saying, well, did he play with his food with Sean? Because once they said, you down? Lights mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So it's both sides to that. Well, and we know how great you are. No, you, you know, I know how great you are. I, we, uh, I feel like you could win a goddamn fight. If you... We uh, we we visited that in the watchback, of course. But we yeah. gonna we gonna visit that, and I'm gonna go an another way that I didn't go. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm gonna start this off by saying I love my father and I respect my father. Y'all y'all know that. Yeah. Um, but my dad did not pull any punches on fight night in that post fight interview that he yeah. that he gave in the ring. And I respect my father, so I kept my mouth shut. And I love my father, and I would never make my father look bad. So I never said anything. Mm -hmm. But when you look back at how this fight transpired with Errol, and then you look back at how my fight transpired with, with Terrence, a lot of people are going to argue that I'm even better than, Ter than Errol was when I fought mm -hmm. Terrence. And... The reason why I'm going to go here now, and I'm doing it somberly because I'm not happy about having to do this the way that it's going to be done, but it is what it is. There wasn't a lack of preparation when I fought Terrence. There was a, not a lack of commitment when I fought Terrence. There wasn't a lack of um, confidence or anything when I fought Terrence. And I, I've mentioned more than enough times, you already know that there's a documentary coming out on my career, my life, and you guys will see a lot of what I'm about to say right now and understand even more. But the things that took place in camp prior to my fight with Terrence were things that had taken place before in camp, mm -hmm. but I've always been respectful to my dad. And I've always kept my mouth shut. This was the first time that I said, I'm not about to do this. I'm not about to keep dogging it. And I'm 34 years old and I'm still 33 years old and I'm still dogging it like this because you are so amped up and in, in, in a space that if we don't go here, we're not going to beat this guy. Mm -hmm. 
And so it became a thing of just, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not going to make any excuses. I wasn't drained on fight night by any means. But going into the ring on fight night, Terrence had a confident corner. Terrence had a corner that was ready to produce for him. Mm. I did not have a confident corner. Mm. I did not have a, a complete corner mm -hmm. that was ready to produce for me. Obviously, we know who, who I'm talking about when I say that. Mm -hmm. So what you see on TV is something that never happens on TV. An amazing moment. And they caught it. You down. What? You down. They, they saying you down. I'm down. Yeah, you down. Yes, he turned it up, but we watched the fight back. Yeah, his his mo his the everything that he was doing to to knock me down and that fight get stopped, he turned that up maybe six round six or seven round. He started trying to pressure me. He started trying to get right in, in my face and not let me move and let's make this fight happen. What you don't see is what's happening in the other corner. And my dad has never been a cheerleader. My dad has never said, "Oh, you're you're getting them." Are you doing this? You're doing that. That's never been my dad. Never expected that from my dad. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't get from my dad, and what you guys need to understand is, yes, boxing is a one-on-one -on -one sport, but it's also a team sport. Because when you go back to the corner, they give you information. They give you energy. They give you drive. They give you everything you need Tell you what to you go don't out see. and produce. Mm -hmm. This is what y'all don't know. Everything that y'all seen me do against Terrence Crawford on fight night was my game plan. All respect to my dad, but it was what I wanted to do because it was what I thought I needed to do to beat Terrence. And whether you could argue that I was winning that fight and you could argue that I was losing that fight, but it was damn close. sure better than what Errol was doing, uh, what Errol was able to do. And I'll tell you why. You got to outthink that man. Mm -hmm. You can't allow that man to dictate the pace. You can't allow that man to dictate the, the space. You can't allow that man to dictate the range and the distance. And upwards to six to seven rounds, I was very comfortable and confident with what I was doing. But when I started to waver mentally with, I don't know if this is working. I don't know if I'm winning. Mm -hmm. I feel good. I didn't go back to a corner who was giving me good information that was going to push me forward. I was coming back to the corner. You need to pressure him. You need to get on him. You need to get to the body. You need to do this. You need to, once you get him, you got to keep going. The combination turn, combination turn. That ain't how you beat this man. Yeah. You don't beat this man by rushing. Look at what Errol Spence did. Rushed in and got it. Yeah. Hard. I knew what I was doing and I was outsmarting. And if not outsmarting, because I know you didn't have me winning that fight. If I wasn't outsmarting, was I was competing. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. damn close. Competitive. But what you don't see, you see in one quarter, you see, oh, you down. Oh, I got to turn it up some more. Yeah, you know you do. But what you don't see in the other corner was there was no energy being given to me to push me forward. So when I go out in the, in, the, in the center of the ring, I'm relying on my thoughts. I'm relying on my emotions. And then I have a moment. Put me down. I ain't never been here before. All right, I get up. And now I'm a little shook up about the moment. And I'm, and I'm in my own thoughts. And boom, comes the bigger moment. And you see frustration because why am I in my head? Why am I here? Mm -hmm. And then I get up and my dad stops the fight. No, it was not justifiable for my dad to stop the fight. No, I don't know what would have happened if that fight had continued. At that point, yeah, I look a little bit stronger than, than Errol did at that point in their fight. You didn't look hurt at all. No. Mm -hmm. But my dad did what he thought he needed to do. But the other side of that is you can, the narrative is that I wasn't committed. That I was already out the door and all those things. Oh, yeah, I was. But guess what? I was already out the door when I fought Errol. I was out the door when I fought Arrow. I was hyped up, and this is the last one. Did I not have an amazing intro when I fought when I fought Arrow, when I fought uh, Crawford? The same. I was on my way out, and there's a couple more things I need to do before I get up out of here. But I did not receive what I needed in between rounds to help me through that fight, and that's why that fight, when my fight with Terrence, along with him, not taking anything from him at all, but. There was no help on, on my side. What was the game plan from your dad? You said y'all had a different game plan. What did he want you to do? I knew you couldn't pressure this man. I knew that his timing was all uh, was all dictated upon him being able to counterpunch, mm -hmm. him being able to to find that range and that distance. He wanted he's you to a, bully. He, he, well, he he's the kind of fighter that if I had tried to bully, mm -hmm. one step back, 
boom, boom, and right. I'm going to turn on you. But that's what your dad wanted no, you to do. Oh, yeah. My dad wanted me and to do that. And Sean, you me. felt like yeah. Crawford was waiting on that part. I felt like Once that you was, turn that, Sean, I'm... That's the rhythm that he was expecting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then what? once he didn't receive that rhythm, it probably took him a couple rounds to say, okay, he's not going to come at me, then I'm going to go at him. Yeah. And then that's when I didn't have the answer. You know right. what I mean? So. From, from there, do you want to pivot to... Thank you. Um, <laughs> last night, you want to go to the corner? What do we think of? And to be fair, we, we were at the fight, so we didn't hear what they were saying. I, I'm even just saying, like from an adjustment standpoint, do oh. you, you think there was? You can't adjust can't something that uh, yes. they don't have adjustment. They do the same thing in every fight, and yeah. they say we're gonna keep doing this until it doesn't work. Like but, like Sean said, it's it's Earl Spence so much you can do with Earl. Like we call him Tim, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan had only so much. Earl has, you can tweak. At the end of the day, Earl Spence is Earl Spence. When Terrence Crawford, it's more you can do with that dude. Personally, from what I if if I if I'm a trainer, yeah. What should what should Ariel have done? I guess from your because it's a rematch. So what what will what can he do? Yeah, what could he do different? Uh, again, what I what I knew uh, going into that fight with Terrence was you can't give him that timing and that rhythm to counterpunch you. And I thought that forward movement, forward pressure was not was going to give him that. So I didn't want to do that. As you can see, Arrow the whole fight was in front of him and especially in that second round after he got knocked down came out third round he didn't come out as hard as he did against uh Ugas mm-hmm. and that's what i expected i thought i thought they was going to be up and i'm i'm in you mm-hmm. but to terrence's uh what do i want to say to to, to terrence's credit I just don't see things the same against that man you don't see things the same against that man because he was able to do it against Ugas. But guess what? Ugas don't know how to step, how to box going backwards. Yeah. Ugas ain't turning and all that kind of stuff. So when you go right at Terrence, he move and then he move and it's like this is this rhythm is just a little bit different. So what can you do moving forward? Sounds crazy, but sit back, try to make that that jab more effective. Try to make that jab and a hook off more effective. You know what I mean? Um, he didn't have a lot of pop in that jab to start with, even you know, in the, after maybe a couple of rounds. But the jab, the way that Terrence said, "I got to take the jab away from him," you got to now accept that challenge to say, "You can't take my jab away from me." Yeah. And then it's just the power, man. It's the power that he said that he felt the power from, like you know, about the second round, and he probably just had he hasn't been hit like that before. Yeah. I mean, his face. Yeah. His face told it all. Was, was, yeah. Busted up, bro. We never, we never. It's, it's damn near watching a hero get beat. Listen, I saw, and I saw Stephen Espinosa when we were when we were leaving, and I know I didn't picked on him enough, but Stephen was he was hurt, and I said I said good night for y'all, cause this was a good night of boxing. Yeah. And y'all made some, y'all did y'all what y'all had. To yeah. Do. Mm-hmm. But he was hurt. He yeah. said, yeah, that just that didn't go the way I expected. I said no. That was one of the components of this fight. That was one of the outcomes of this fight. Yeah. I said it was just so far down on the list that everybody forgot about it. Yeah. But that was a possible outcome. The exact same thing, the flip. It was on the list. Yeah. <laughs> but it was one of those, nah, I can't see that. That's it's so and, down on the list. And so I far saw down a lot of list. people that felt I, I don't I'm not sure exactly what it is about Errol that, that is it's very connectable. But I felt a lot of people felt that way. They were like Damn, like I didn't like to see Errol lose. Like I like Errol. Like that that wasn't fun to watch. Like I didn't want to see Errol get beat down. Hey, real quick from from Uber driver says, why do y'all think that Errol wasn't making the adjustments and sticking to the game plan that Derrick James had given? Uh, no high guard, staying in front of him, almost like Errol had his own plan. You asked that. Did no, but did I? Because again, oh, we like what it. in the corner? Couldn't nothing. Not yeah, well, yeah, we it was too yeah, loud. Yeah, it was loud. I'm yeah. sorry about your house, man. Yeah. Is it is it trash? Stu- is it trash? No, stu- I think no, no, my, yeah, my girl gonna play that. Yeah, okay. I, you know, I, I wake up, I go to yeah. sleep, I wake up, my house clean. Anybody to leave? No, 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 no. no. All right, the Dallas, the Dallas boys. They hurt, man. No, no, no. The Dallas boys got up out of there. I had, I had Big John come through. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Big John ain't gonna play that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, man, I think you can you can't make adjustments that you're not capable of making, no matter what they tell you to do. You know, you are a strong, fundamental boxer, and it's worked for you until now, but you're mm-hmm. fighting somebody that has an IQ that you just, you you can't beat IQ. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. you got the power to go along with the IQ. Timing. The timing. Yeah. yeah. And just, just being prepared for everything that you bring. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you run into something stuff in life that you've never seen before. Yeah. He's never seen nothing like that. Uh, 
Uh, that was different. Because how could he? Because like, there's nobody like there's, that guy. There, there's <laughs> only so many. Yeah, there's only so many things. Great. You can watch. Yeah, LeBron, Sparring you can go through. Yes, you can't rap. I, you know this. Oh boy. I, I'm betting that you don't. And um, and I think you know this. That's a lot of confidence on me. That's Aeros, crazy. Errol Spence Jr. lost twice at the Olympic Games. I think yeah, I've, I've, I've heard about. I know he lost. I don't. I, I, yeah, I heard. I know he lost. lost. You don't. You're not done after you lose once. This is what happened. The first decision, they they there was um, there was uh, uh what's the word I'm thinking of um corruption uh, cited in that first decision that he had, mm-hmm. and because there was enough days between his next fight, they actually put him back into the tournament. Mm. So whether or not he actually won that fight or it was a close fight or whatever the case may be. He took one loss in the games. I'm pretty sure he won that fight. I I remember watching the fight. I'm like, yo, he won that. Mm-hmm. They put him back in, mm-hmm. and he loses again. Four two. Uh, no, they were fighting three threes then. But the reason why I bring that up is because when you're looking at a man who's invincible, and y'all haven't seen anything like this before, you gotta recognize and realize that he has lost. Yeah. There have been guys who have been. A little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, whatever the case may mm. be, who who were able to figure it out and beat him. Man, of course, that's Olympics. three rounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. that's three rounds is way different from a twelve round fight. But let's be realistic. Yeah. He got s- knocked down in the second round of this fight. Yeah. The third round didn't go his way, even though it was a better round for him. Mm-hmm. And the fight ended up being what it what it be, what it became. And I see. But for you, those, yeah, go ahead. See what you're saying, but it's the way he lost, Sean. Yeah. The way he was losing. Yeah. The way he was just getting. Like I'm, it, Earl Smith's never been down, and you could. T- some fir- fighters when they go down, you could tell they never been down because they hop back, right back up. Yeah, yeah. Just, but I'm, a, but I'm an advocate for this rematch. Are you? I I'm don't an advocate. How, for how do y'all two feel about it? I don't want to see it. I don't want. I want. I, I do. know. I think. I don't want to see it. I think Bud only got a couple years left. Probably he probably could fight longer, but he probably only wants to fight a few more years. And I like to see him get straight to that 154 belt. And then be done, you know. Mm. I just don't. I don't want to see it again. I understand. Do you see it again? I understand that perspective one hundred percent. But just the way I pointed out that he took two losses at the Olympic Games, mm-hmm. he turns pro and doesn't look back. Mm-hmm. He gets better, continues to improve, gets better at what he does well, gets bigger, gets stronger, all of that. So you take this fight at one fifty four. He's only going to get bigger. He's only going to get stronger, and he's going to improve. Once you see it live and in action. I can tell y'all personally, Daniel Jacobs, Boo Boo Andre, it's so many guys that I fought so many times in the amateurs, and it was like I'm, I got better every time I yeah. fought them. I, we're not expecting him to fight three times, nothing like that, but yeah. he will be better because of this fight. Earl Spence, you yes. think Crawford gonna get stronger too? Yes. And if you look, and you let Crawford, he has all the confidence going yeah, into the ring. But if you walking, at, he got confidence. But it, so if you're looking at it from like an arrow, and and I don't, I personally don't believe this. I think. I'm guessing we all kind of feel the same way. That like, if somehow there's a narrative of that he's weight drained, I don't feel that way. He agreed to the fight. He makes 147. He's never had an issue, whatever. But like, even if that's something that you even give even a little bit of credibility, now it's at 154. You see, yeah. when when um, uh, Roy Jones Jr. got knocked out by Antonio Tarver, right mm-hmm. in that second fight, the next fight he was a little bit more apprehensive. You know what I'm saying? He was he was like, all right. I'm not going to you That ain't in his makeup. That, and that's my thing. Yeah, that ain't like, in his makeup. That's, that's not in whose makeup? Errol Spence. That ain't in his makeup. So you think he going to come back with the same I confidence, did he? See, I don't see him being apprehensive. I don't. Ah, I, he he, he going to have to fight differently. I'm going to tell you another story. How many... Is, uh, you could tweak Earl... And you got hella a uh, training with Derrick James, but you can't. Uh, you gotta, what can you do with you Earl? Break I'm him telling down you, man. And then make him a completely different. And fight. three months? No, you don't. You ain't got to break him down. He done. He done seen enough and done enough. Now he's had the taste. He's seen it live in person, and I know that they can make. There's some adjustments. You could you can do make. something with that, Sean. Absolutely, absolutely. He's, the, I don't, he's Earl. He's he's the truth. Like he's still like. I understand. He, he got like washed yesterday. Night. I'm sorry. Like I get it, but like. I'm sorry, but I think he can make adjustments. I agree. And I think that and even win? if he doesn't beat okay. Terrence. You mean a more competitive fight? I, yeah. A Wilder Fury type deal? Well, what if, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I said. Wilder Fury and 3. What if, what if somehow, so they, they fight at 154, whether it's the end of this year or next year, it's the night of a fight, anything can happen. What if Bud has a, a slightly less sharp performance than we saw yesterday and Errol's slightly improved? 
That doesn't that doesn't balance it out at all, and then it's not closer. I hate to see it, but that is possible, and I'll yeah. tell you why. Anything's possible in Mighty Box. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. like we we sure. assume Crawford. I gonna think be... he got his heart. And, mm. Nah. Mm. I think Sean. Oh, I think he took his heart <laughs> in that second round. I never seen. You thought it was the second round when he pushed him, man. I think the tie like, ties I was like seventh round. I think he took his heart. And when he pushed him, show him that he was stronger, and then he knocked him down. I was like, okay. I have people asking me, why is your dad so high on, on, on Errol Spence? I said, my dad spent some time with him in the amateurs, took him to Russia and took him to the Ukraine. When he went to Russia, Errol, I think, might have been like 18 or 19 or something like that. He was young. He's in the ring with a Russian guy who's like close to 30, mm -hmm. uh, probably was like close to winning a goal, all, like all that stuff. And this ain't nothing but a duel. Mm -hmm. Go out in the first round, as my dad called me. Go out in the first round, and it was this toe to toe battle, right? Comes back to the corner. My dad gets in the ring and says, Errol, why you why did you go out and go right after him? I think this round you should try to box a little bit more. Step around, use your jab. I gotta make him feel me, coach. He said, What? He said, I gotta make him feel me. I'm gonna make him feel me. That's his mentality. I don't I could be wrong, but I don't think you I don't think you Go from that. That was a terrible arrow, by the way. It don't even matter, man. <laughs> it don't even matter. Shout hey, out to first off, that's uh, who was that? that what's Maine? What the Maine? Okay, yeah. <laughs> stay away from him. Don't be doing a suck. You ain't got no. You ain't got Terrence a good. Hall. Terrence Howard's from Cleveland. No, no, he ain't got. <laughs> no, because I did. Because you no. know that movie is Atlanta. He ain't yeah. got a good southern draw. Come on, let's go. Okay, come on, let's go. I don't like your southern draw. I don't think. I think that hit that is his makeup. Yeah, and I don't think he can. Get far away, and I'm, I just don't see him being the same after this fight. Yeah, that, he's never taken. He's never taken a, a beating. Period. It's a fact. Yeah. He it's took a, a fact. He took a beating last That's night. It's a fact. I yeah. don't see him being the same. I, I mean, some people. I don't know if you could say the same, but you know, Sean, the worst fight. I always tell you, I seen you was the Kell Brook, but Sean was different after that. He didn't take a beating though. That was a, that was a was, jab. That was he had a jab sandwich. It was <laughs> <laughs> and a buffet with fries. It was a it was a competitive fight. He didn't take no. Last night was a beating, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. Terrence Crawford first fight at welterweight was against Joe Horn. He beat him up real bad. And I think last night he beat Spence uh, up worse than Joe Horn. Uh, okay, Sean, just the Kell cool. Brook fight. Obviously, I was like one of the worst worst performances. Yeah. What could you tell Earl right now? You coming off that first loss? Yeah. In that way. It's the same thing I tell them all, man. Don't don't even look at social media. Yeah. Um You gotta stay away from Carson's. I'm 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 really I'm media. really pushing uh, right now to get uh Terrence on every late night and daytime show. You managing? No. I'm not managing him. Oh, okay. I'm managing boxing. That's what needs to happen. This ain't vacation time. You can that's take what, a, you that's can, what boxers do, man. You can take a vacation in two weeks. Yeah, he needs some endorsements. He's, he's going to talk. Get this press tour in. Some commercials and after that. Yeah. Wheaties box. That's, my, that's what I'm saying. He's going to talk so much shit. Uh, when he sees but me. the other side of that is Arrow needs to get off social media. He needs to rest. The best part about what Arrow, Arrow about Arrow and who he is as a person, he keep his kids right next to him. Mm -hmm. And you need them right next to you right now. He's not going to get it as bad on social media as some people because yeah. he was humble in defeat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He stood yeah. there, and that was a long interview that that mm -hmm. Bud did. He stood there yeah. and waited, and he, you know, yeah. he did the interview. So I think there's a little bit of empathy for him. Yeah. yeah. Social media gonna be, it's gonna be memes. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it was he was humble in defeat, which yeah. is important. And yeah. he went out. Hmm? And he went out like he didn't take quit in the corner. Yeah. Not that not that's yeah. a bad thing, but yeah. nobody's like. <laughs> Errol Spence, you quit. Like, the ref stepped in and stopped it. So, yeah. that also gives him a little bit of bail. And, I think. I, I, you know, Derrick James will tell him, like, it is what you need to work on. Mm -hmm. But don't I always believe as a celebrity, and Sean, they say me and Carson, don't have yes men around you. I don't believe it. With Kev, mm -hmm. you don't got, don't have yes men around you. Have honest friends that's going to tell you like it is. Mm -hmm. Yes men is not going to get you, don't, don't do nothing I mean, for you in real life. It's nothing that, you, it's nothing they could say yes about with last night, you know. Yeah, you know people they, they say dumb really gotta be quiet. But people, what you need around you is people who are who understand yeah. the, the 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 space that you're in now. Mm -hmm. And to your point, Ant, I don't know, but I feel like he don't have people around him that know how to handle this. He, and I'm I'm I mean I'm excluding mom and dad. I'm excluding Derek James. But I'm talking about friends wise. Yeah. We're so used to seeing you be Superman 
that we don't understand that that you just got kryptonite. Mm -hmm. We don't understand like what's happening now. What you can't afford is having other people looking like this, because you're yeah. looking at everybody. You need confidence from everybody. You know who might. His kids are gonna cry. He, he looks the way he looks. Hold them mm -hmm. and let the let they you know. You know you said the the su Superman like thing. Only time I look at you as Superman is on fight night. Otherwise, you're my friend. Yeah. And my brother, and I love yeah. you. You yeah. know who might help, and I, and not that the one has bounced back flawlessly from it, but look who is in Derek James's camp, Anthony Joshua. He's lost before. He can yeah. give him a little bit of that. Yeah. Ryan Garcia's there now. He yeah. lost. Yeah. And you got Frank Martin who hasn't lost, but like but Joshua you have other killer no more. Yeah, but at least Joshua can say, "Hey, here's how I dealt with it," and you can just kind of spitball ideas. Of, it didn't work for me. Off yeah, coming off loss. Yeah. But you know, I would. I think that there's nothing that you should offer right now, but like that support of your. I'm here if you yeah. need. Yeah, it. is what it is. Yeah, this yeah. it's kind of, it's almost like somebody dying. It's somebody say, oh, they in a better place and, and all that. Like, you don't hear nothing. You can say, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you want just say. like let me just be alone with my feelings. Let me mourn mourn this person, uh, and and be there if I need you. And that's yeah. what he needs right now, because everybody, you know, uh, hit him with pat him on the back. That pat on the back can make you cry. Don't worry about it, man. That's, nah, that's, bruh. that's, just, <laughs> that's it's like when you see yeah, your, it's yeah, like yeah, when you see get your, off me. Right. You see your parents and you're already upset. You see your mom and you're just like, oh, right. damn it. Right. Yeah. You don't want to hear. It. You just want to just, just let him just live, yeah. man. He did the he did the interviews. Yeah. He was Went professional to the post -fight about press it. Conference. And uh, just leave that man alone for a minute and let him get his thoughts together. And he really needs to think about he needs to think about if he should take this rematch. Or if he should even continue with boxing all together. Damn. You went that far really? now? Nah. Look, man, he already has been through realistic. a lot. You got to be realistic. He's been through a lot. He, he had the detached retina. He had the accident. Yeah. And then last night, he just got outclassed, bro. And, and there's a lot of people out there that he can still whip on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is what I know um, about humans and also about professional athletes. We have the tendency to look at lies and make them truths. So I'll give you one. For instance, his eye. Everybody's been told eye is good. I'm sure doctors have told him eye is good, all that. At some point, he's going to start to question, is my eye good? Mm -hmm. That's a lie. If everybody told you that you're good, don't you can now you cannot afford to start looking at lies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think the best thing for him is just to get away from boxing, get away from social media, be with your family, and don't even talk about boxing. Mm -hmm. Watch the fight whenever you feel like you're ready to watch the fight, and then come back when you feel like you're ready to come back. Like again, like you just said, if you feel like you're like you're ready to like you you can't come back, you know. When you think is a good time for the rematch? How fast? I'm not crazy about the end of this year mm -hmm. because realistically, uh, it's gonna take a m physically. It's gonna it's gonna take two months physically mm -hmm. because. This the, again, like the stuff, this, but the stuff they all don't know. Mm -hmm. A month from training because of the training, right. and then a month because of the night. Right. That was a hard night, and a night like that, you would be on like a thirty day suspension. Mm -hmm. So you get yourself thirty days, even if he wasn't suspended. Yeah, he was suspended because it was stopped. But then you could get yourself thirty days from the training. Mm -hmm. That alone. And that's before you even get. So you're to, looking at October already at that point. Yeah, and that's if you a yoga yogi. If you are a bike rider, if you are a distance walker, mm -hmm. like you start as a baby when you get back to this because you just want to get your body back going and you want to slowly get your mind back going. Mm -hmm. You can't, what he can't afford to do is come back in October and the fight ain't happening until December, but he in fight mode in October. Yeah. And a lot of fighters make that mistake mm -hmm. of coming back in fight mode. Don't come back in fight mode. Right. Come back in. I'm gonna get his ass back more. So, so and if you going, and I'm gonna get it when it when it's time. So, you if know? you guys aren't in favor of the rematch, who would you like to see him in at 154? If he continues, I I think he will. I don't, I don't Man, want to retire. I, I just but. don't. We don't know what's gonna happen with this Charlo and Canelo fight. Yeah. So, throws a monkey wrench into the division. I, I don't want to see him fight oh, any any warm ups. I want to see him go straight paper. for the title. Yeah. And That's because damn. Charlo has all Hold the all belts. Them. Yeah. You know you gotta you gotta you gotta just wait for that. I think. Yeah, cause I mean, who who else could he fight at one fifty four? Fundora. Oh hell nah. Castano, they fought C in the amateurs. Uh, Castano is the dude that oh. had to draw with Charlo, right? Yeah, and then lost the second time. Right. right. That would be a. I mean, that would be a okay fight. A, a good first fight at fifty four. Yeah. Sparring. <laughs> but yeah, not you talking about Fundora. This mm -mm. No. 
Well, you read yeah. it. Or, where, where are you goofy goofy asses, my fault, my fault. We my fault. Got, and I did hear a lot about Fundora. We got Fundora. 20 or 30 that. super chats well, we got to hit. Well, yeah. well, We're not going to hit them. I'm sorry. Not? We're not going to hit them, but. <laughs> but let's be real, though. Why not? No people money. What, what, what else do we have to close? So, all right, let, let's it. also give. Let's give do not. Yeah, let's give Terrence Crawford. The worst Terrence business man you ever. Unbelievable performance. Yeah. Do what you want now. Yeah. If you want to wait for Charlo after he fights Canelo, do it. If you're going to fight Earl in the rematch, do Charlo it. ain't coming back to 54. I said it. That's yeah. done. But congratulations. Congratulations, he ain't Terrence. Back to 54. If yeah, he, congrats- if he and doesn't, I'll see you soon, mother. If he doesn't, then, you know, that's going to vacate all four titles, and then, you know, Terrence will fight for the, for one of them in his Tim, first fight. What about Tim Zhu? Against Ooh, Tim, Errol? I like Tim. Against Errol? I told them. Uh, uh, no. Against, against Crawford, you mean? No, no, I'm saying against Errol, another guy. For either of them, honestly, I guess. Tim Zhu will be a great matchup. Uh, He's not going to win against he not gonna win against Crawford, but I do like Tim Zhu a lot. And um, He's been waiting, obviously, for the chance with right. Charlo. Right. I'd like to see him against either So, of look, can, can this happen? Let me ask you a question. So, let's say uh, Charlo vacates after this fight with Canelo. Could uh, the rematch be for a belt at 154? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. These are world championship Especially caliber fighters. I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't the WBO have, if you're the champion at the lower division, you're the I've mandatory. I've heard something like that. I don't you're know. You're like automatically He's the mandatory that. at the he, next he, division. That's yeah. what he did for the 147. Yeah, 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 against Orange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that, now, that would be interesting. If they did rematch and it's for that belt at, at 154 for whatever belt it is, yeah. I know you can't, you can't go for two vacated titles at once, can you? Can you go for multiple? Yeah, videos? absolutely. Bo- boxing. These guys boxing can. will yeah, figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be for oh, the under, it'll be for undisputed 154. Yeah, right. And 160 somehow. <laughs> Listen, we on 90 minute run time. Yeah. Uh, Hell of a show. Out, shout out to Sean. I'm not gonna have you guys come in because we, we ran long. Appreciate you guys for being here. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about everything, do my motivational before we get out of here. But I wanna read this quote. This is a quote right after the fight. Probably should have done this earlier, but I'm going to do it now. Yeah. And we're going to close on Crawford and Spence with this, and then we'll close with the motivation. But um, this is a shout-out to Lamb Satterfield. I don't know what Lamb's um, exact uh, uh, platforms are, but type in Lamb Satterfield. Find him on social media, definitely L-E-M on Twitter. That's the first name. Yep, Lamb. Yep. He is a um, very, very uh, uh, great mind and a writer, and he does a fantastic job. He sent me this right after the fight. Um he sent me this at like 10 o'clock. It uh, was 9 o'clock last night. Uh, 9.18 last night. We're a little focused on the time. Go. <laughs> uh, Sean Porter on Terrence Crawford basically right at the fight. Terrence is the best out of everybody I've been in the ring with. There's no doubt I think that man hit me more than anybody I've been in the ring with. Crawford was on point A through Z. Um the competitor in me won't stop looking at him and wanting to fight him again. That's over. Uh, he's so good that I want to do it again. He's got the it. Uh, I've said that multiple times in interviews. In and out of the ring, he has it. Terrence is different. You can't really pick up everything that it is he that he does. He does everything that it, it that it. He does everything that it is that he does more than exceptionally well. I don't know. Porter said, uh, I felt like in the fight with Errol Spence Jr. going 12 rounds, I felt like it was not as tough as the fight as fighting Terrence Crawford in just the 10 rounds that I, that I went with him. So were you guessing up your own quote? Is that what just happened? No, I want to make that point. Okay. That y'all saw how different he was. And even though I thought that this was a 50-50 fight. Yeah. I said after I fought him that he was okay, the best so that this, I've been in the ring with. So that the way you, said I'm that paying quote, homage right now. It sounded but you like you were saying it. that after yesterday's fight. You were saying no, that this after is, this your post fight fight-fight interview. I said post fight. This okay, was that a, makes yeah, more right? sense. Yeah, and yeah. this is what I want to end on. Um, some some people find exactly what they were made for. Mm-hmm. Do you think that being a comedian is what you were made for? I know there's just multiple things. I know you probably are made to be a father. You know. Yeah, so you know what? It's, that's a great question. Because I, I, while I think I'm really good at what I do, yeah. I think that my ability to break down things and have different perspectives on, on different subjects is what I'm best at, mm-hmm. which I can do with, through podcasts and radio, which is something, radio was something I never wanted to do. I said that's mm-hmm. a retirement job for me because I always have my eyes 
on the prize, which was being an actor and a, you know, a well-known comedian. Mm -hmm. So, but I think I, there's really no description for my mind. Yeah. Cause when you say, think what you're, what you were made to do, yeah. but I think that enlightening people is probably what I was made to do in this world. I, I used to tell people, and it's been a long time since I've actually said this out loud, but I used to tell people, I feel like when God made me, he said, pick something. Mm -hmm. I feel like God made me to be, he gave me just talent right? and pick something. I picked TV and radio when I was like 10 or 11 years old. I said, I love it. I'm, well, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm living in my purpose. I feel like from an athletic standpoint, God said, whatever you pick, just do it. And I happened to pick boxing. Mm -hmm. And I said this recently. When y'all watched Sean Porter box, y'all didn't know what y'all was watching. Right. Y'all thought y'all was watching a fighter that got in there and did it. Y'all was watching an athlete that chose the box because I knew box would take, boxing would take me where I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. I'm, where I'm going with this is Terrence was made to fight. Yeah. And you just, you just clearly saw it last night. That's why that was so different and hard to understand and the list goes on because he's made for what he does. And that's why he's probably going to go down as one of the best. And his, he, no doubt in his era, but one of the best in, in, a, in a, when you're talking about an overall GOAT yeah. situation. Yeah. I said, after this fight, if he beats Errol, you have to put him in the same conversation with Andre Ward and with Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. The way that he did it, there's no doubt he belongs in the same, same breath with, those, with right. those two gentlemen. Were you made to be a plumber? No. I, no, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I made to help. Plumber. But I feel like I'm made to inspire. Just go. like I feel like this dude, everybody needs a Carson. You know, Car Carson, got, know what that even Car means. Car Car it. Carson <laughs> got on my nerves for a long time until I realized he's an honest friend. He's going to tell you like this. He don't give a fuck yeah, who you are. True. Everyone needs a friend like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe everybody ain't got to be a boxer. Everybody ain't got to be a comedian. Yeah. But you are who you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why you was put in there yeah. for a purpose. Yeah. yeah. So Find your purpose. I, I, I found my purpose. Shut the hell up, Naeem. <laughs> yeah. I found my purpose and I love living in my purpose. With that being said, I want to shout out Sean. Um, we did a charity buzz event um, for a organization that I'm involved with, Given Hour. And the uh, incentive to um, donate was you get to come to a live um, Port Away podcast. You want to show their faces? You want to show their faces? No, I'm not going to bring them in because we, we just ran too long. They, they don't want to be on good. TV. He yeah, he's good. Oh, okay. yeah. But anyway. Um, Looks sharp though. Got a nice hat on. Yeah. I support this organization because I believe, as you do, in mental health. I believe that we all need help and we all need assistance. And what Giving Hour does is they provide. They provide that assistance that we all need. So I want to end with this video and this will be the wrap of this episode. Hey, we had like 15 up in here. I appreciate the 13 that was in here. We're a little bit less now, 11. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Port Away podcast. What video um, are you talking about? You, you got... <coughs> <laughs> hey, you had the perfect setup. But he's like, oh. I sent it on WhatsApp. Nah, Which one? And I said, we need this one. We uh, need this. I need this. The one, one that he said we need this one. All right, well, then you need to stall for a little bit. All right, I'm, I'm stalling right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll dang. Stall. I thought I thought you had that one killed. So, my fault. And, and for everyone that wanted Aunt Night to eat crow for being wrong, that's fine. Yeah, what we, is that? We well, they always say like you eat crow, you're wrong about stuff. Humble pie. You know, a lot of people don't like us. Oh, I so, so they they, they always like. like Kickers. I don't I was care. just we about to say like shout out to uh, the Boxing Voice. Uh, I went to an event, event that they did on Friday night and everybody was looking for you, big dog. Appreciate you it. You are a, f a, fan, a fan favorite hey, out I, there. Hey, I appreciate Both it. I got, I got the Uber and people like went crazy. It. I was like, <laughs> no, at, at the shut up. Uh, oh, at the you're talking about here. No, no, for no, the no, weigh-in. Nobody outside. Y'all watch. For the weigh-in. Yeah, the weigh-in. I'm like, bro, Head but, down. I'm, I got yeah, things to I do. A few people who came to me last night. They said they see me on on air. They, they are, yeah. are you popping? You are you popping? Yeah, but I don't. I don't yeah. mind. Like I, I guess you know there are people that are so hard headed and so stuff. I'm like I don't mind being wrong. Like I, I felt Arrow was gonna win. I was I was dead wrong. And like, I'm I was sticking dead my wrong. guns. Yeah, absolutely. And and for anyone that wants us to have some kind of a punishment, trust me. When we punishment. see Terrence Crawford. He's going to punish both of us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My man walked past me last night. Hey, I was like, congratulations, big dog. Proud of you. Happy for you. Hey, no, 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 no. No, tell your boys. Fuck them. I Is was that what like, he said? Yeah. Hey, I, said, man, I said, man, go to your room, man. <laughs> he said, no. Nah. He said, that ain't no me, F you. That's a, that's a, that's a 
Oh, cool, no, no, fun, I, F you. I, 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 so, I, I, yeah, y'all still, I, I, yeah. I look for, yeah. I, I can't, and that's what somebody said. Oh, you got the same energy for Bud? I'm going to congratulate yeah. him on winning. Yeah, people like, was cooking me like, oh, you wouldn't say it to his face. Yeah. He's been in my house, he's held my kid, and I still told him I got Spence. Yeah, I look forward to seeing him. You let him hold your child? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Let me, let me tell didn't. you what happened when I went to the back room last night, because oh, I but, wanted to give him some information. I wanted to tell him something, and uh, did, I did not get a chance to see him. They big boys you? No, just, I was in the back room and he just took too long and I was like, I gotta get the body here. But I'm yeah, in the back room and his nephew walks up to me. His nephew oh, yeah, is he's six, saying. seven years old. I don't know, eight maybe. You short? <laughs> True. You short than then you sh you look tall on TV. You short? I said you ain't that tall. <laughs> you short though. I said you short too. My uncle beat you up. I said no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He said yes, he did. I said, how do I get out of this right. situation, right? <laughs> so he, I looked at him, and he looked at me, bro, and just backed up, like, looking at me, backed up, right? As soon as he was done, his son came up to me. Mm -hmm. My daddy beat you up. I said, no, he didn't. <laughs> My daddy beat you up. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I said, it's go tell him I'm going to beat him up. No, you ain't. You ain't going to beat my daddy up. Yeah. Get out of so here. You had 10 rounds. Look, look, look. Get out of here and push me. Push Hell, yeah. <laughs> get, get out of here. I'm like... Your grandmama said I could come in here. <laughs> My man said, psh, psh, slap me twice. And all of a sudden, you saw the whole family went to ass. The whole family. Now we gotta go get back. Get you your kids. You, you, saw, go get the, your you kids. saw the towel come in. The first thing go I get, thought of. Go get out of now. The first thing I thought of. Is I'm so glad my kids at home. Okay. No, <laughs> Would they jump kid. in? Can I, can nah. I, can, I oh. can I criticize something oh, real quick? Some. Not not the kids, because I respect what they put the heat to you and were correct. Tim Brad, Tim Bradley. <laughs> What Tim say? What did he say? He posted a video yesterday, pretty much patting himself on the back for being right. Like he, he been saying this shit for a long time. Well, I, I, congrats, Tim Bradley. You're a professional <laughs> boxer. Like you know, okay, like he was celebrating, like he won the fight. Like hey man, I told you guys what I tell you. Oh, he hyped. Uh, hey, congrats. He hyped. Hey, what? It's a lot fight, of people though. in Omaha that's hyped up, and there's a lot of people that's in Dallas. Fine. Tim Bradley, that's, that's my upset. guy. You it's had a lot a of boxing career. career like that though. Yeah, he uh, he just fired. One thing yeah. annoys me about boxing media. Why I kind of I love it, but I hate it. Y'all post Earl, but this, this, this. if Earl would have won, y'all have been right on his nuts. That's one thing I like about boxing media. Y'all big kiss asses. But it's the same thing. Yeah, you gotta, but, but you gotta celebrate who wins. Yeah. You know, if if, it, if he would have beat Crawford like that, then yeah. Tell me what y'all tell me what y'all think about this analogy, and then I'm sure we'll be ready to wrap by then. <laughs> but um, good. as it pertains uh -huh. to the rematch, yeah, mm -hmm. because you guys are thinking, what what can he do differently? And and I, I could be off, but I, I want to hear what you guys think, especially, obviously, especially you, Carson. But I thought about it. I was like, football teams play each other twice a, twice a, twice a season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basketball teams, they play each other multiple times. None of the games look look identical. Every now and then you'll get an identical game, but for the most part, no games You got five identical. people on the court yeah. or 11 people on the field, so yeah. it's different. You got to – and, you know, so many injuries every week in football – this is a one-on-one -on -one sport. Although you have a team, this is a one-on-one -on -one sport. And just somebody, just, some people just got your number, bro. Yeah. And I think he got his number. I don't see anything doing. Being I different. think he has to do that again in order for you to say he's got his number or win. He has to win again in order to say you got he got his number. Yeah. Who, what fight? I'm he sorry. had his number no, last no, night. What, what what fight have you seen where the first fight was this dominant? First of all, there's usually not a rematch where the fight is this dominant. But if there was, where the second fight was don't competitive. Me. Don't ask me. I was. I said last night. I wish the tail was there because that was a question for the tail. Yeah. Because I knew he would have had the answer. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't any, know. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'm just not that well versed. Even, <laughs> even if you go, Roy uh, and uh and uh Tarver. Nah. Um, Montel Griffin. Montel. Yeah. Roy and Montel. He kicked his ass both times though. Yeah. Nah. He, he got <laughs> you know, the first one ended though. How it ended though. You know. Yeah. <laughs> he still he go. His ass, yeah. If you go maybe like Tyson and Holyfield with the first fight. Good. It's the given hour one, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, yes, I Perfect. Heard it. You were ready all along. Yeah. Tyson Holyfield may be the closest. But I mean that one. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Hold I just on. think the I just think to answer your question before we play the video, I just think that there's a chance that Bud has a slightly less sharp night and Errol has a better night and they're two of the best fighters on the planet. Oh, I got you. Yes, yeah. that's, that's, that's Haney you know, he didn't stop him. Haney whipped that ass in the first fight. Then the second fight, he really whipped that ass. Yeah. 
but it wasn't a stoppage. But it was just like, why are we having the rematch for this? And then yeah, he, he just, damn near won 22 rounds. Yeah, he just made him look even worse in the second fight. Barring Arrow's health, Arrow's um, desire in the team and all that kind of stuff, I do think that they could make some adjustments and do and do and this that that second fight looks. Different. If anybody can do it, Derek James can. And Daryl Spence. <laughs> I don't. And with that, I, I, said, I'm getting a bit of a doubt, Naeem. I'm just kind of on your side. I don't see Derek James. He just got a stable. You know, he got. You don't know if he's that good. I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I see a lot of holes in 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 both Charlos, especially Jamel. Well, he don't have one of them. He only has one. He, he just has Jamel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, and then everybody else he got on the team, except Frank Martin, got they got L's. You can, but, and here's the thing, and I, we, we're going to end, but um, a lot of times you train just, and again, like just like with basketball or football, you train a fighter to his abilities. Just mm-hmm. like you, you, you get a team prepared if they're throwers. You're not going to try to run a team who ain't no runner. Right. So you can't try to teach the, the Charlos or you, could try to teach them, but if they don't have that ability, we talk to their dad. Their ability is timing. Mm-hmm. They just see it, they throw it, and the game is over. Right. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. You can't teach them how to throw a double jab right hand and go to the body and all these other things. They're not going to jab and move and turn and all that that's funky flesh fry stuff that they should be able to do. Mm-hmm. They don't have the ability to do it. It is what it is. I do think that Arrow has the ability to do more. I think this this is the fight that proved to him that he has to be able to do more in order to beat this guy. I think that he's gonna want to get back. So I'm, I'm an advocate for the for the for the rematch. Not saying that I think he's gonna win it. I just think that it's gonna look different. I think I'm pretty sure they're in the black on this fight. Will they go in the red on the rematch? The the PBC. What do you I, mean the whole red company? No 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 no. no. I'm talking, <laughs> it's called taking a loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, loss. I just yeah. don't feel like. It won't sell as much. It will. The buys. It will. It, uh, Not what this one did, there's, Sean. There, there, there's things that have to it's be gonna done in order for that to happen. Up the I card? Think I always believe yeah. that rematches. Throw a boot Thurman on there? No. The car, of course, the car got to be stronger, but yeah. I do believe that rematches are worth more than first fights. Not this, not this style, yeah, Sean. Not, not this one. Thurman, Porter, Thurman, uh, Spence, yes. Not mm. this. People right. going to still watch. Yeah. yeah, but not to the same draw. Um... What about so I know we gotta go. Just last No, we ain't gotta go. He he wants to go. A side. A side for for the next fight. Uh what's that money looking like for Crawford? You think it's gonna be a fifty fifty or he gonna just really take the bulk of the bread? Oh, man. You don't you don't even care about yeah, that. I don't yeah. care about that. Mm. They care about it though. <laughs> listen, so. listen to this ad from um from Given Hour and uh support Given Hour and um if you know anyone that needs help, shoot them that way. Sir, hell of a show, hell of a night. Thanks, um, Naeem, for coming up again. Always, bro. And I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in with us. Carson, appreciate you, big dog. And with two T's, my man. This is the Port Away. Ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles, brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions.